A breakthrough signifies progress, growth, promotion, elevation and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress, aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray, knowing that you as a child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again, thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence that as we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, that you will show them mercy. And so I declare, may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, every plant not planted by my heavenly father would be uprooted. And so I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 15 says, but their swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says, the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. The premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus. Standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today, the termination of all satanic influence over your business. As I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20, but the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforward melts like wax in Jesus' name. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down, according to Isaiah 10, 27, which says, in that day, the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. 
I therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadjucases is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8 2, that says, Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For still the vision awaits in the appointed time, it hastens to the end, it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it, it will surely come, it will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27 verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over war. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken, aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough through. I pray guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus as I declare again and again Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand this is your privileged child of God, receive it with thanksgiving. As I know God has started a great thing in your life, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. In this sacred space of prayer, let us lift our hearts together to the almighty God, drawing strength from the powerful promise found in 1 John 4.4. As we embark on the spiritual journey, I pray that the words of the scripture become a shield against the schemes of the enemy over your life. So let us pray. Dear Father, I come before your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. And I come to receive grace, acknowledging your sovereign authority and the truth declared in 1 John 4, 4. 
as I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. I declare that you may have a strong knowledge that you are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. In the assurance of this divine truth, I stand united with the Lord God Almighty against any force that seeks to sow discord, fear or darkness in your life. I declare that the power residing in you through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit surpasses any influence that the adversary may attempt to wield. God's word affirms that the greater one, the Almighty, dwells within you and therefore no force of darkness can withstand the radiance of God's divine presence. In the authority of Jesus Christ's name, I rebuke every scheme of the enemy that has sought to infiltrate your life and I declare that the chains of oppression are shattered and any foothold the devil may have sought to establish is dismantled by the victorious name of Jesus. May the Lord fill your heart and mind with the unwavering confidence that they are not alone in the spiritual battle. The very essence of His being, the creator of the universe, resides within you. May this knowledge empower you to stand firm clothed in the spiritual armor mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 12. I declare that you are being equipped so that you resist the wiles of the enemy. In moments of doubt, may you be reminded that the authority given to you by Christ is not of this world. The power to overcome lies not in your own strength, but in the immeasurable might of the Holy Spirit working within you. As he illuminates your path with the light of God's truth, guiding you away from the snares set by the evil one. I pray that you may be vigilant, discern in the subtle whispers of the enemy, seeking to sow seeds of confusion, fear or despair. May the Lord grant you a discerning spirit to recognize the tactics of the adversary and the wisdom to rebuke any lie that contradicts God's word. May the Lord fortify your mind against the onslaught of negative thoughts, anxieties, and temptation. May every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ, aligning with the truth that sets you free from the bondage of deception. As you stand on the premise of 1 John 4, 4, I declare victory over every area of your life. May the victory of Christ be manifest in your relationships, your work, your thoughts, and your spiritual walk. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit be a beacon of light dispelling any darkness that attempts to linger. I pray for a renewed sense of peace, joy and purpose to permeate your life. Let the abundant life promised by Jesus in John 10.10 10 be realized in every area of your being. Lord, we thank you for the victory won on the cross as they trust in your word and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. I affirm over their lives that they are overcomers through Christ. May God's love surround you, casting out all fear and ushering in the freedom found in the knowledge that they are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift a prayer over your life, drawing strength from the powerful truths embedded in Matthew 4.10 and 1 Peter 5 verses 8 to 9. Let this prayer be a shield of faith as you stand together with everyone in agreement with me against the schemes of the enemy. I pray that you may heed the words of Matthew 4.10 where Jesus declared, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. And in this moment, I declare with conviction and clarity that your allegiance belongs solely to the Lord and I declare that the enemies knows that there is no room for compromise in your life in the name of Jesus. As you face the challenges of life, may the Holy Spirit empower you to stand firm against the deceiver. I invoke the spirit of resistance within you, drawing from 1 Peter 5 verses 8 and 9, which warns, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And so in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every tactic and scheme of the enemy that seeks to devour your peace, joy, 
and well-being. I come against and resist the whispers of doubt, fear and temptation that the adversary may try to instill in your heart and mind. Stand firm in the unwavering faith that our Lord Jesus Christ is your protector and your deliverer. I pray for a divine covering over your life. May the angels of the heaven encamp around you, guarding against every onslaught and assault of the enemy. Let the light of your truth dispel, Lord God, the darkness that seeks to cloud their thoughts and emotions. May you, Lord God, strengthen their spiritual armor, fortifying them against the fiery arrows of doubt and despair as they navigate the journey ahead. May the all authority given to you through Jesus Christ be evident in every aspect of your life. May you boldly proclaim the victory of the cross, recognizing that the one who is in you is greater than the force that may come against you. I pray for discernment and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to recognize the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit guide you in making choices that align with God's will choices that lead to righteousness and peace. In the moments of weakness, may you find strength in God's word and in the promises that it holds. Let Psalm 27 verse 1 resonate in your heart. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of your life. Of whom shall I be afraid? May the assurance of God's presence be a source of courage, dispelling all fear and anxiety. And in the name of Jesus, I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord fill you with his love, joy and a sound mind. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this prayer and declaration of freedom and victory over the schemes of the devil in your life is answered with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, evil is real. And evil is everywhere, if you ask me. But there is something about the name of the Lord. The Bible says there's a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is faith. The moment your home is under the spell of the enemy, just know that God can never share his glory with anyone. And so, if you have sensed that there is evil in your home, as a child of God, that is an abomination. But you can run back to God and put things straight. And doing that can only come by accepting Jesus and then praying this prayer with me, declaring that evil lives instantly in the name of Jesus. If you believe that God is willing to deliver your home from evil, then join me as we pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude for your unwavering love and protection over us all these while. We well, thank you because you've always been our God and you have never stopped from stretching out your hands in love for us. And Lord, we have come to you, Lord God Almighty, in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice that needs total deliverance from evil that seems to have taken hold and grip in their homes. As I lift them up, I declare in the name of Jesus that their homes after this prayer will be delivered in the name of Jesus. And so I lift up your home to God, recognizing that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil. And in the authority of God's word, as is written in Psalm 91 verse 10, I declare this promise over your dwelling. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. I stand firm in the truth of Ephesians 6 Thus 12, acknowledging the unseen battles that surround your home, I put on the full armor of God and with the sword of the Spirit, which is God's word, I rebuke any darkness trying to infiltrate the peace within your home. May the spiritual forces of evil be scattered and may the angels of God encamp around your home, guarding it against every scheme of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I resist the devil according to James 4, 7, as we submit your home entirely to God. 
Oh Lord, acknowledging your sovereignty, I ask for your divine protection to envelope every room, corridor and space within this home in the name of Jesus. May the power of the Holy Spirit fill every corner, dispelling any trace of fear or oppression. Let the light of God so shine brightly, banishing any darkness that may attempt to linger around your home in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a hedge of divine protection, invoking the words of Psalm 91 verses 11 and 12. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And in the name of Jesus, I pray the Lord dispatches his angels to stand guard over your home, ensuring safety and peace in every moment of that home's life. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the atmosphere within your home is saturated with God's presence. Let the love of Christ permeate every room, casting out any spirit of discord, strife or malevolence. May the Holy Spirit reign supreme, bringing a tangible sense of serenity and harmony to your house hold in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your home and your family. I declare that the blood of Christ serves as an impenetrable barrier against any form of evil or harm. Make his blood cleanse to protect and seal every entry point, leaving no room for the enemy to gain his foothold in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the assurance found in your word and we trust your promises of protection, knowing that you are faithful and true. May this home be a sanctuary of peace, love and joy, a place where God's presence dwells richly, dispelling any traits of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I come before you, Lord, acknowledging your sovereignty and power over all things. Today, I lift up your home to God's divine protection. According to God's word in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, that says, But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. I also declare that no weapon formed against your household shall prosper. Your faithfulness is a shield to them, and I trust that your promise on failing is establishing and guarding their homes against the schemes of the evil one. I pray the Lord God Almighty that your presence goes through every hall of their homes. May you walk through securing their homes with your presence. Let your assurance of love and protection surround them like a shield. As I claim the wisdom of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 23 to 24 for their homes, that as they lie down to rest, fear shall not have any place in their heart. Lord God, I declare that may you grant sweet sleep to them, knowing that you watch over them and their homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, I resist the devil and his influences that may seek to enter their homes. James 4 verse 7 says, As they submit to your word and resist the adversary, I boldly resist any attempt of darkness that is trying to infiltrate their living space. May the power of the Holy Spirit prevail, pushing away any spiritual force that opposes God's light in their lives. I specifically pray for you under the sound of my voice before God that your concerns and challenges that you may be facing within your family home, you are delivered from them. As 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 warns us of the adversary who prowls like a roaring lion seeking to devour, I stand in the gap for you asking for God's divine intervention against any spiritual attack. May the Lord your strength be your spiritual armor, enabling you to resist the enemy's schemes with unwavering faith. I pray for the atmosphere of your home to be filled with God's peace. May the presence of the Holy Spirit dispel in every darkness, anxiety or fear. Let the light of God's truth illuminate every corner, bringing clarity and assurance to your heart and mind. I declare Isaiah 54 verse 7 over you and to your home affirming that no weapon formed against you. That will stand up. As you navigate the challenges of daily life, may you be grounded in God's word finding solace and guidance in the scripture. I pray for a renewed sense of purpose and resilience, knowing that God is with you in every step of the way. Father, we thank you because you've done everything. We know that this home is rid of evil and any attempt by the enemy because of this stand in the name of Jesus, that enemy has no power or space to penetrate in the name of Jesus. The hedge has been protected and the enemy cannot bite it again. 
in the mighty and matchless name we pray with thanksgiving amen misfortune is real and it happens everywhere and i'm sure you have experienced it one way or the other but there are those that misfortune has made a stronghold of their lives and so god's intention for a believer is that misfortune would have no foothold in your home the bible says why so downcast O my soul put your trust in god and let me tell you psalm 42 verse 11 says why so disturbed because there is a god in heaven that always is willing to hear our prayers is there any misfortune that you're going through or has been a pattern in your family or your children's life come and let's pray over it as we know that there is a name that is above every other name jesus that can put a stop to it so join me as we pray against misfortune never again would you see it after this prayer in jesus name father i come to you in the mighty name of jesus i know it's not because of me but because of him that has died resurrected and is seated with you that has given me power to say to this mountain be thou removed and it is removed and so lord i stand in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice knowing that you are the source of true comfort and solace and so lord i pray concerning everyone that is going through weariness that is weighing them heavy and miseries that are seeking to destroy them i declare the truth of matthew chapter 11 verses 28 and 30 over their lives as i send the invitation that is in the word of god come to me all who are weary and burdened and i would give you rest and so lord i declare as they respond and draw near to you may the burdens the way on their heart be lifted and as your gentle embrace of your love grants them rest in the name of jesus i declare that the yoke of sorrow be exchanged for the yoke of god's gentle and humble spirit i pray against the overwhelming feelings that seek to engulf them the one that has caused them sleepless night may the peace that surpasses understanding flow over you soothing every troubled thought and calming every storm within in the midst of life's challenges, I pray you anchor your soul in the hope found in God because you are the God who sees the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit, Lord. As I declare Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 over them, I pray that Lord God, as they draw near to you, offering comfort you will give to them and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray that they receive your presence and feel as tangible as it is to everyone that knows you. Just as a shepherd cares for the well-being of each sheep, I declare that God Almighty, you make them experience your tender care. I pray over you that the Lord leads you beside still and quiet waters, restoring your soul, even in the darkest valley, every despair looming. I declare a fearlessness in your spirit as you trust God for the deliverance that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are casting every anxiety and every burden upon God as his peace that transcends all understanding is guarding your heart and your mind. The Lord is granting you the courage to release heavy weight and find solace in his unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the grip of misery, declaring freedom and joy over your life. May the burdens of yesterday be replaced with the hope of tomorrow. And may you find strength anew in the promises of God's word. In the name of Jesus. In the presence of our compassionate and loving Father, I lift up a prayer over your life. I declare as you draw strength and solace from the timeless words of Psalm 42 verse 11 and the comforting invitation of Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Oh, precious soul, if you find yourself in the depths of despair, I stand with you in the moment of prayer, seeking the tender embrace of our Savior. Let these words be a balm to your weary spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I quote the word of God in Psalm 42 verse 11 where it says, 
Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. And this is my prayer over you, that you will find hope in the midst of this despair. I pray that the light of God's promises may pierce through the darkness surrounding you right now in the name of Jesus. As you come before God burdened and tired, may you experience the rest that only God can provide. In the midst of life's struggle, may you lay down the heavy yoke of mystery at the feet of Jesus and may you embrace a gentle and humble spirit, finding comfort in the arms of the one who understands your every burden. I pray that his peace envelopes you, bringing a respite to your troubled soul in the name of Jesus. I pray for God's supernatural touch upon your life. May he heal the wounds of sorrow, lift the weight of despair, and infuse your heart with the peace that surpasses human understanding, replacing every tear with the joy that comes from trusting in God's steadfast love. I pray for you as you navigate the journey ahead. May you be reminded of God's promise in Psalm 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for God is with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I declare that the assurance of God's presence brings courage upon your life, dispelling the shadows of mystery. And in this moment of prayer, I declare victory over the grip of despair in your life. May you emerge from the death strengthened by the grace of our Lord and may the melody of his praise replace the symphony of the enemy's sorrow that is overwhelming you. I declare that every misfortune that has cost you pain over the years that the Spirit of God that has spoken through his word in Joel 22 verse 25 that you receive every lost years, every lost moment, every lost hours into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord himself will replace for you every lost days. I declare that your misfortunes are repaid back a hundredfold for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your shame you receive double. For every pain the Lord God gives you a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. May the comfort that God gives unto you become the anchor for you to help every other person that would go through the same period in the name of Jesus. I pray that no longer would you experience any misfortune, that the lie of the devil in your life that you have received over the truth of God in your life today, that every lie of the devil remains a lie and God's truth in your life is exalted above every lie in the name of Jesus. I pray that every misfortune that wants to take and perpetuate itself even into your family's life from now onward, you have brought it to an end. It stops with you. It will not go to the next generation of your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I declare that every misfortune in your business, the Lord restores to you. Every misfortune that has happened to you in your health, the Lord has restored you a great health like never before in the name of Jesus. As God gave the general, gave him a body of a baby, so it is with you that every misfortune that has come as a result of sicknesses and diseases, when people see you henceforth, they would wonder what newness has come upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that no longer would you be afraid of the enemy's plants as he comes because you know the word of God. You will arise with the word of God and you will declare and you will have your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare you free from every misfortune now and forevermore as you remain under the shadow of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. A breakthrough signifies progress, growth, promotion, elevation, and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray knowing 
that you as a child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again, thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence as we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, that you will show them mercy. And so I declare, may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, every plant not planted by my heavenly father would be uprooted. And so I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 15 says, but their swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says, the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. The premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus. Standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says, Don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today, the termination of all satanic influence over your business. As I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20, but the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus' name. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down, according to Isaiah 10, 27, which says, in that day, the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. I therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadequacies is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8, 2, that says, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. 
the yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus. Aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For still the vision awaits in the appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27 verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over war. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken, aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as in Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough through. I pray guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus as I declare again and again Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand this is your privileged child of God. Receive it with thanksgiving. As I know God has started a great thing in your life. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Demons are real. And their circle can be very stubborn. When they latch on the life of a believer without knowledge. They torture and torment. But then, knowing that your stand in Christ can determine their stain or not would help you do what you're supposed to do. And that is why you are here with me as we pray against every demonic circle that seems to perpetuate itself over your life. If you understand the weapons of warfare that you have, as written in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, you would use them in the name of Jesus, trusting him that from today, that cycle will break free from your life. And so if you are under that demonic cycle that seems nonstop, perpetuating its life from one generation of your family to the other, join me as you have accepted Jesus as we break together this demonic cycle father it is in the name of Jesus that we've come to you I stand even in intercession for everyone under the sound of my voice knowing the Lord God there is power in agreement I come before you acknowledging your sovereignty and authority over realms 
every realm seen and unseen. I stand in the presence of your divine power, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, recognizing that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of darkness that seek to entangle and ensnare us. I come before you, Lord, lifting your name in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice. The Lord God will receive grace and protection over every cycle that is demonic get into its root of everyone under the sign of my voice life i declare the truth of ephesians 6 12 over them affirming that the battle they face is not merely physical or earthly but involves spiritual forces at work and so lord may you grant unto them discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy and the strength to stand firm in the truth James 4, 7 reminds us to submit ourselves to you and resist the enemy. And so I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice, as they agree with my prayer, they will submit their hearts and their mind and soul entirely to you, seeking your guidance and surrendering any foothold the enemy may have gained. I declare that the Lord strengthen your resolve to resist the devil. May you draw near to God as the devil flees from you. I ask for God's divine intervention to break every chain of bondage that ties you to this demonic cycle. Let the light of God so shine into the darkest corners of your life, exposing and dispelling the works of the enemy. I pray for a release of God's mighty angels to guard and protect you from any harm or influence that seeks to hinder your spiritual journey. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to 5, I claim the power of God's weapons to demolish strongholds in your life. May every thought contrary to God's truth be taken captive and made obedient to Christ. I speak freedom over your mind, heart, and spirit. May the Lord break the chains of negativity, fear, and deception that has bound you for long too in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11, God's word assures us that no harm will overtake you and his angel will guard you in all your ways. I pray this promise over you. Make his protective hand be upon you, shielding you from the attacks of the enemy. I rebuke any harm or disaster that seeks to come near your life firmly or your circumstances. In the name of Jesus. As it's written in Isaiah 54 verse 17, may you find confidence that no weapon formed against you henceforth will prevail. I declare the truth over you, trusting that God's divine intervention will render every demonic strategy powerless. I pray that the good Lord vindicates you and lets you walk in the heritage of his servants, free, redeemed, and victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit fill you with wisdom, courage, and discernment as you navigate the spiritual battlefield. May the Lord surround you with a community of believers who will uplift and support you in prayer and fellowship. I pray for you that your life is strengthened in faith and God's love be a beacon of light guiding you through the darkness. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your mercy over this one's lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift my voice on their behalf, dear Lord, and I say the words of this prayer echo the promises woven in your word according to Psalm 34, verses 17 and 18, and Isaiah 54, verse 17. I bring, Lord God, this one's before your throne of grace with humble hearts seeking refuge in the shelter of your divine embrace. Lord God, as the righteous cries out to you, hear them. Today I stand in the gap for them, trusting in your unfailing love and boundless mercy. Whatever they may be facing as challenger and seem insurmountable, caught in the throes of demonic cycle, the seek to ensnare and oppress them. I declare the Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 is over them, affirming the Lord God, you are attentive to their cry. As they pour out their hearts before you, Lord, may your comfort and presence surround them like a shoulder. In the moments of despair, Lord, draw near to them as they draw near to you. Lord, I stand upon the promise of Isaiah 54 verse 17, who declares that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and any tongue that rises up in judgment against them is condemned. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that they remain empowered with the assurance that they are clothed in the armor of your righteousness. Lord, I thank you because you are breaking the chains of darkness that seek to bind them, for your authority is supreme. And I pray for a divine intervention in their life 
by the authority bestowed upon us through Christ as I rebuke any demonic force attempted to establish circles of fear, despair, or bondage over their lives. Pray that the word of God penetrates the depth of their soul, dismantling strongholds and casting out every spirit that does not align with God's life. I declare the transformation over the minds. May every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ, aligning with the truth of God's word as they break the patterns of negativity, doubt, and self-condemnation that the enemy seeks to perpetrate in their lives. I thank you, Lord, because you are replacing with them with the thoughts of hope, faith, and understanding of their identity in Christ. I intercede, I say, Lord, God Almighty, let peace which surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and their minds. I declare over your life the freedom that comes from surrendering your will to God. I pray the Lord redeems, restores, and renews you. In the name of Jesus, as I rebuke any generation of curses or chains that may have bound your family line by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And in that name, I declare you are broken free from every ancestral link to darkness and open pathway to the glorious light of God's salvation. I declare as I release the ministering angels that they surround you, offering protection and guidance of God's grace even now in your life in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because the cycle of oppression is permanently shattered because their eyes are open to the revelation of your knowledge, making way for a new season of freedom, joy, and divine purpose. It is in Jesus' name that I pray with thanksgiving because it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. As we gather in prayer, let us reflect upon this profound truth that on the day of judgment, every tongue that stands against us will face condemnation. The Lord, our ultimate vindicator, promises to fight on our behalf against every lying tongue that schemes to bring about our downfall. We find assurance in the unwavering truth that prevails despite the deceptive plans laid against us. Drawing inspiration from the scriptures, we turn to Psalm 31 verse 20 which declares, You hide them in the shelter of your presence, save from those who conspire against them. You shall shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. In the sacred moment of prayer, we seek refuge in the divine shelter of God's presence, trusting that his protection shields us from the harm plotted by the sinful tongues. Psalm 64 verse 8 resonates with the conviction that those who devise evil and speak falsehood will ultimately stumble in their own schemes. Let us stand firm in the face of every falsehood guided by the powerful truth that God's justice prevails and his light exposes every lie. And so may this prayer be a shield against every lying tongue, finding strength in the promises of God's word and seeking refuge in his unwavering presence. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace on behalf of your beloved child, seeking your divine protection and guidance in the name of Jesus. Your word is spoken in Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19. Tell us that there are six things you hate, seven that are detestful to you. And the first among them is a lying tongue. I lift up your life, dear beloved, to God asking for his shield against the deceitful words that may be spoken against you. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare every lying tongue seeking to harm you shall be silenced by the power of God's truth. His word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path, as written in Psalm 119 verses 105. And I pray that his light will expose any falsehood woven in the plans formed against you. May the purity and honesty found in God's word be a protective barrier guarding you from the schemes of those who would seek to deceive. Lord, you have also said in Proverbs 6 verse 19 that you detest a person who stares of conflict in the community. I pray against any evil plans or schemes devised to bring harm or discord into your life. I rebuke every plot of the enemy, whether heeding or manifest, seeking to disrupt the peace and well-being of your life. 
May the peace that surpasses all understanding, according to Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, surround them, shielding you from the turmoil that deceitful plants may attempt to stir up. I invoke the word of God in Psalm 34 verse 13. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. May the Lord empower you to walk in righteousness, guarding your own words and thoughts. Let the Holy Spirit be a constant guide, prompting you to speak words of truth and integrity. Strengthening your resolve to resist any temptation to engage in dishonesty, ensuring that your tongue remains a source of blessing rather than harm in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for discernment for you to recognize any deceptive schemes or manipulative plans that may be directed against you. May the Lord grant you wisdom to navigate through the intricate webs of falsehood, uncovering the truth with clarity and precision. May the light of God's truth expose every hidden agenda aimed at causing calm to you in the name of Jesus. In the face of adversity, I pray you find refuge in God's presence and his promises of Psalm 9 to 1 verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. May you take shelter under the wings of God's faithfulness, finding strength and protection against any deceitful onslaught. I pray that God's divine intervention will thwart every evil plan against you breaking the chains of deception and exposing the lies meant to harm you. Let God's truth prevail in every situation, bringing forth justice and vindication for you. As I place your life in God's hand, trusting that his watchful eye sees every challenge and threat. May you experience the peace that comes from knowing that God is your protector and in the authority of Jesus. I pray, I come before you, Lord which is your throne of grace with a heart burden by the weight of deceit and malicious intentions that your people carry. Your word in Psalm 31 verse 20 assures us that you hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence far from accusing tongues. I lift them up before the Lord, seeking the refuge and protection promised in your scriptures. As they navigate the intricate pathways of life, may Lord God Almighty shield you from the arrows of a lying tongue. May he grant you the comfort of his shelter, the heaven where deceit cannot penetrate. May God's divine presence envelope you, keeping you secure from the schemes of those who will plot harm against you. Let the truth of Psalm 31 verse 20 be a fortress around you, a place of safety and solace. In the face of falsehood and deceitful tongues, I declare the words of Psalm 64 verse 8 over you. They were made to stumble, their own tongues work against them. All who see them will shake their heads in scorn. May the Lord expose lies woven against you and let the perpetrators stumble in their own deceit. May their tongues which plot evil turn against them, causing their sinister plans to crumble. I pray and I place the lies spoken against you at the foot of God's throne. He is the ultimate judge as I trust in his justice. May the truth prevail shining brightly to dispel the darkness of falsehood. May the Lord guard your reputation, Lord, and let integrity be your shield in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord grants you discernment to see through the webs of deception. May the Holy Spirit be your guide, revealing the truth and leading them in the path of righteousness. May He strengthen your spirit, allowing them to stand firm against the onslaught of lies with unwavering faith in God's truth. As they face the challenges brought by those with evil intentions, may they find strength in your assurance, Lord God, as written in Psalm 64 verse 8. Lord, let their trust be in you and may it remain unshakable, knowing that those who devise evil will ultimately stumble in their own schemes. In the name of Jesus, I intercede for those that are going through emotional well-being, for the weight of false accusation can be heavy. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you lift their spirits and replace any anxiety with a peace that surpasses all understanding. 
Lord, grant them resilience in the face of adversity and the courage to rise above the deceitful tongues. In the powerful and comfort in name of Jesus, I pray for divine intervention, protection and justice for them. Lord, may your truth prevail and may they experience the fullness of your grace and love, even in the midst of challenges. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, the conqueror, I pray. Amen. Misfortune is real and it happens everywhere and I'm sure you have experienced it one way or the other. But there are those that misfortune has made a stronghold of their lives. And so God's intention for a believer is that misfortune would have no foothold in your home. The Bible says, why so downcast all my soul put your trust in God? And let me tell you, Psalm 42 verse 11 says, Why so disturbed? Because there is a God in heaven that always is willing to hear our prayers. Is there any misfortune that you're going through or has been a pattern in your family or your children's life? Come and let's pray over it. As we know that there is a name that is above every other name, Jesus, that can put a stop to it. So join me as we pray against misfortune. Never again would you see it after this prayer in Jesus' name. Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know it's not because of me, but because of him that has died, resurrected, and is seated with you, that has given me power to say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it is removed. And so, Lord, I stand in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice knowing that you are the source of true comfort and solace and so lord i pray concerning everyone that is going through weariness that is weighing them heavy and miseries that are seeking to destroy them i declare the truth of matthew chapter 11 verses 28 and 30 over their lives as i send the invitation that is in the word of god Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I would give you rest. And so, Lord, I declare as they respond and draw near to you, may the burdens that weigh on their heart be lifted, and as your gentle embrace of your love grants them rest in the name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of sorrow be exchanged for the yoke of God's gentle and humble spirit. I pray against the overwhelming feelings that seek to engulf them. The one that has caused them sleepless night, may the peace that surpasses understanding flow over you, soothing every troubled thought and calming every storm within. In the midst of life's challenges, I pray you anchor your soul in the hope found in God because you are the God who sees the brokenhearted and save those crushed in spirit, Lord. As I declare Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 over them, I pray that, Lord God, as they draw near to you, offering comfort you will give to them and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray that they receive your presence and feel as tangible as it is to everyone that knows you. Just as a shepherd cares for the well-being of each sheep, I declare that God Almighty, you make them experience your tender care. I pray over you that the Lord leads you beside still and quiet waters, restoring your soul, even in the darkest valley, every despair looming. I declare a fearlessness in your spirit as you trust God for the deliverance that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are casting every anxiety and every burden upon God as his peace that transcends all understanding is guarding your heart and your mind. The Lord is granting you the courage to release heavy weight and find solace in his unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the grip of misery, declaring freedom and joy over your life. May the burdens of yesterday be replaced with the hope of tomorrow. And may you find strength anew in the promises of God's word. In the name of Jesus. In the presence of our compassionate and loving Father, I lift up a prayer over your life. I declare as you draw strength and solace from the timeless words of Psalm 42 verse 11 and the comforting invitation of Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Oh, precious soul, if you find yourself in the depths of despair, 
I stand with you in the moment of prayer, seeking the tender embrace of our Savior. Let these words be a balm to your weary spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I quote the word of God in Psalm 42 verse 11 where it says, Why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. And this is my prayer over you, that you will find hope in the midst of this despair. I pray that the light of God's promises may pierce through the darkness surrounding you right now in the name of Jesus. As you come before God burdened and tired, may you experience the rest that only God can provide. In the midst of life's struggle, may you lay down the heavy yoke of mystery at the feet of Jesus and may you embrace a gentle and humble spirit, finding comfort in the arms of the one who understands your every burden. I pray that his peace envelops you, bringing a respite to your troubled soul in the name of Jesus. I pray for God's supernatural touch upon your life. May he heal the wounds of sorrow, lift the weight of despair, and infuse your heart with the peace that surpasses human understanding, replacing every tear with the joy that comes from trusting in God's steadfast love. I pray for you as you navigate the journey ahead. May you be reminded of God's promise in Psalm 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for God is with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I declare that the assurance of God's presence brings courage upon your life, dispelling the shadows of mystery. And in this moment of prayer, I declare victory over the grip of despair in your life. May you emerge from the death strengthened by the grace of our Lord and may the melody of his praise replace the symphony of the enemy's sorrow that is overwhelming you. I declare that every misfortune that has cost you pain over the years that the Spirit of God that has spoken through his word in Joel 22 verse 25 that you receive every lost years, every lost moment, every lost hours into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord himself will replace for you every lost days. I declare that your misfortunes are repaid back a hundredfold for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your shame you receive double. For every pain the Lord God gives you a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. May the comfort that God gives unto you become the anchor for you to help every other person that would go through the same period in the name of Jesus. I pray that no longer would you experience any misfortune, that the lie of the devil in your life that you have received over the truth of God in your life today, that every lie of the devil remains a lie and God's truth in your life is exalted above every lie in the name of Jesus. I pray that every misfortune that wants to take and perpetuate itself even into your family's life from now onward, you have brought it to an end. It stops with you. It will not go to the next generation of your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I declare that every misfortune in your business, the Lord restores to you. Every misfortune that has happened to you in your health, the Lord has restored you a great health like never before in the name of Jesus. As God gave the general, gave him a body of a baby, so it is with you that every misfortune that has come as a result of sicknesses and diseases, when people see you henceforth, they would wonder what newness has come upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that no longer would you be afraid of the enemy's plants as he comes because you know the word of God. You will arise with the word of God and you will declare and you will have your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare you free from every misfortune now and forevermore as you remain under the shadow of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often unleashed by an unseen or inconspicuous sender traverse a meticulously plotted course, aiming to strike their intended target. The sender's strategy involves thorough study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest 
in swift and unforeseen consequences ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway. For you are temples of the Most High, positioned above principalities and powers. The protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. And so, I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, particularly also for those that have suffered it not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer. If you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding has been enlightened and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. It said we should call you in the day of trouble and you answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil arrows that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare, bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalm 64 verses 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of malice, slander or ham that may have been sent their ways. In the authority of Jesus' name, I ask the God you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives. But as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144 verse 6, send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you that have been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, rendering them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of faith be raised high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise. From Psalm 91 verses 4 and 5, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rapid. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be your shield, guarding you from every attack visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you. As I stand upon the authority of God's word, I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest. 
according to Proverbs 26 verse 2. Instead, let blessings and favor surround you like a shield as it is written in Psalm 5 verse 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and harm in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous, but we take a refuge in God's word in Psalm 11 verses 2 and 3 the refuge of God's presence I lift you up to God in this prayer trusting in the promises of the scripture for look the wicked bend their bows they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows of the upright in heart when the foundations are being destroyed what can the righteous do in this moment i declare that by the authority granted through jesus christ every arrow aimed at you will fall short for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our lord as the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows seeking to harm the upright in heart i pray a divine reversal over every arrow sent your way just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms i declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable in the name of jesus i return every evil arrow to its sender nullifying its intended harm may these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground the shield of faith surrounds you extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one as we stand together in prayer i ask for a divine covering over your life may the lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness may the enemy schemes be thwarted and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of jesus christ as i declare that in the face of adversity you will not be shaking god's protection surrounds you and his angels are camp and camp around you the plans of the wicked are broken the arrows of harm are returned void may the peace that surpasses understanding god your heart and mind in christ in the name of jesus in the face of adversity i declare that the foundations of your life is built upon the rock of christ unshakable and unwavering the arrows of the enemy shall fall short for god's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached as we continue to pray i seek god's guidance and wisdom for you may the lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary may the holy spirit be their guide leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus name. I declare victory over area of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you whether visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I know every arrow that has been sent has returned back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said according to your power that is at work in us in Jesus' mighty name we pray amen demons are real and their circle can be very stubborn when they latch on the life of a believer without knowledge they torture and torment but then knowing that your stand in Christ can determine their stain or not would help you do what you're supposed to do and that is why you are here with me as we pray against every demonic circle that seems to perpetuate itself over your life 
if you understand the weapons of warfare that you have as written in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 you would use them in the name of Jesus trusting him that from today that cycle will break free from your life and so if you are under that demonic cycle that seems non-stop perpetuating its life from one generation of your family to the other join me as you have accepted Jesus as we break together this demonic cycle father it is in the name of Jesus that we've come to you I stand even in intercession for everyone under the sound of my voice knowing the Lord God there is power in agreement I come before you acknowledging your sovereignty and authority over realms every realm seen and unseen I stand in the presence of your divine power Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God recognizing that our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the spiritual forces of darkness that seek to entangle and ensnare us I come before you Lord lifting your name in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice the Lord God will receive grace and protection over every cycle that is demonic get into its root of everyone under the sound of my voice life I declare the truth of Ephesians 6 12 over them affirming that the battle they face is not merely physical or earthly but involves spiritual forces at work and so Lord may you grant unto them discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy and the strength to stand firm in the truth James 4 7 reminds us to submit ourselves to you and resist the enemy and so I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice as they agree with my prayer they will submit their hearts and their mind and soul entirely to you seeking your guidance and surrendering any foothold the enemy may have gained I declare that the Lord strengthen your resolve to resist the devil may you draw near to God as the devil flees from you I ask for God's divine intervention to break every chain of bondage that ties you to these demonic cycle let the light of God so shine into the darkest corners of your life exposing and dispelling the works of the enemy I pray for a release of God's mighty angels to guard and protect you from any harm or influence that seeks to hinder your spiritual journey according to 2nd Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 to 5 I claim the power of God's weapons to demolish strongholds in your life may every thought contrary to God's truth be taken captive and made obedient to Christ I speak freedom over your mind heart and spirit may the Lord break the chains of negativity fear and deception that has bound you for long too in the name of Jesus Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11 God's word assures us that no harm will overtake you and his angel will guard you in all your ways I pray this promise over you make his protective hand be upon you shielding you from the attacks of the enemy I rebuke any harm or disaster that seeks to come near your life firmly or your circumstances in the name of Jesus as it's written in Isaiah 54 verse 17 may you find confidence that no weapon formed against you henceforth will prevail I declare the truth over you trusting that God's divine intervention will render every demonic strategy powerless I pray that the good Lord vindicates you and lets you walk in the heritage of his servants free redeemed and victorious in the mighty name of Jesus May the Holy Spirit fill you with wisdom, courage and discernment as you navigate the spiritual battlefield. May the Lord surround you with a community of believers who will uplift and support you in prayer and fellowship. I pray for you that your life is strengthened in faith and God's love be a beacon of light guiding you through the darkness. I thank you Father for your faithfulness and your mercy over this one's lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift my voice on their behalf, dear Lord, and I say the words of this prayer echo the promises woven in your word according to Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 and Isaiah 54 verse 17 I bring Lord God this once before your throne of grace with humble hearts seeking refuge in the shelter of your divine embrace Lord God as the righteous cries out to you hear them today I stand in the gap for them trusting in your unfailing love and boundless mercy 
Whatever they may be facing as challenger and seem insurmountable, caught in the throes of demonic cycle that seek to ensnare and oppress them, I declare that Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 is over them, affirming the Lord God, you are attentive to their cry. As they pour out their hearts before you, Lord, may your comfort and presence surround them like a shoulder. In the moments of despair, Lord, draw near to them as they draw near to you. Lord, I stand upon the promise of Isaiah 54 verse 17, who declares that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and any tongue that rises up in judgment against them is condemned. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that they remain empowered with the assurance that they are clothed in the armor of your righteousness. Lord, I thank you because you are breaking the chains of darkness that seek to bind them, for your authority is supreme. And I pray for a divine intervention in their life by the authority bestowed upon us through Christ as I rebuke any demonic force attempted to establish circles or fear, despair, or bondage over their lives. Pray that the word of God penetrates the depth of their soul, dismantling strongholds and casting out every spirit that does not align with God's life. I declare the transformation over the minds. May every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ, aligning with the truth of God's word as they break the patterns of negativity, doubt and self-condemnation that the enemy seeks to perpetrate in their lives. I thank you, Lord, because you are replacing with them with the thoughts of hope, faith, and understanding of their identity in Christ. I intercede, I say, Lord, God Almighty, let peace which surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and their minds. I declare over your life the freedom that comes from surrendering your will to God. I pray the Lord redeems, restores, and renews you. In the name of Jesus, as I rebuke any generation of curses or chains that may have bound your family line by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And in that name, I declare you are broken free from every ancestral link to darkness and open pathway to the glorious light of God's salvation. I declare as I release the ministering angels that they surround you, offering protection and guidance of God's grace even now in your life in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because the cycle of oppression is permanently shattered because their eyes are open to the revelation of your knowledge, making way for a new season of freedom, joy, and divine purpose. It is in Jesus' name that I pray with thanksgiving because it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often unleashed by an unseen or inconspicuous sender traverse a meticulously plotted course, aiming to strike their intended target. The sender's strategy involves thorough study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defences. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences, ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway, for you are temples of the Most High, positioned above principalities and powers. The protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. And so, I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, particularly also for those that have suffered it not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer. If you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding has been enlightened, and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. They said we should call you in the day of trouble and you answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil arrows that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare, bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalm 64 verses 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of malice, slander or harm that may have been sent their ways. In the authority of Jesus' name, I ask the God you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives. But as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144 verse 6, send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you that have been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, rendering them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of faith be raised high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise. From Psalm 91 verses 4 and 5, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rapid. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be your shield, guarding you from every attack visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you. As I stand upon the authority of God's word, I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest. According to Proverbs 26 verse 2, instead let blessings and favor surround you like a shield as it is written in Psalm 5 verse 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and harm in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous, but we take a refuge in God's word in Psalm 11 verses 2 and 3, the refuge of God's presence. I lift you up to God in this prayer, trusting in the promises of the scripture. For look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows of the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? In this moment, I declare that by the authority granted through Jesus Christ, every arrow aimed at you will fall short for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our Lord. As the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows, seeking to harm the upright in heart, I pray a divine reversal over every arrow sent your way. Just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms, I declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable. In the name of Jesus, I return every evil arrow to its sender. 
nullifying its intended harm. May these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of fate surrounds you, extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one. As we stand together in prayer, I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness. May the enemy's schemes be thwarted and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of Jesus Christ. As I declare that in the face of adversity, you will not be shaking. God's protection surrounds you and his angels are camped encamp around you. The plans of the wicked are broken. The arrows of harm are returned void. May the peace that surpasses understanding God, your heart and mind in Christ in the name of Jesus. In the face of adversity, I declare that the foundations of your life is built upon the rock of Christ, unshakable and unwavering. The arrows of the enemy shall fall short, for God's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached. As we continue to pray, I seek God's guidance and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit be their guide, leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus' name. I declare victory over area of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you, whether visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I know every arrow that has been sent has returned back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said, according to your power that is at work in us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Please A breakthrough signifies progress, growth, promotion, elevation, and noteworthy positive transformations. It encompasses advancements in various facets of life. The adversary seeks to hinder your progress aiming to keep you in a state of stagnation and prevent the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. Urging you to push forward, ascend to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you towards a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray, knowing that you as a child of God, God intends that you progress. As I pray against stagnation for breakthrough, let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we've come again, thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence as we pray for everyone and in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice that you show them mercy and so i declare may the origin of oppression in your life wither away as its root and uprooted in the name of jesus matthew 15 verse 13 says every plant not planted by my heavenly father would be uprooted and so i declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the powerful name of jesus psalm 37 verse 15 says but their swords will stab their own hearts and their bows will be broken 
the wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus as I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over your life also crumbles in the name of Jesus I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 verse 19 that says the righteous person faces many troubles but the Lord comes to the rescue each time the premature joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus standing on Psalm 35 verse 19 says don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow I assert the termination of every satanic force rejoicing over your life and health even now in the name of Jesus. I declare today the termination of all satanic influence over your business. As I decree the cessation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you. As the psalmist proclaimed in Psalm 37 verse 13, But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. I command the cessation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes as stated in Psalm 37 verse 20. But the wicked would perish. The enemies of the Lord are like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke, they vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory and the lifter up of our heads and pray for a miraculous elevation over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus' name. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down, according to Isaiah 10, 27, which says, in that day, the Lord will end the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it begins to happen in your life now. The word of God in Jeremiah 30 verse 8 says, For in that day, says the Lord of the heaven's armies, I will break the yoke from their necks and snap their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. I therefore declare that any yoke of backwardness in your life is broken. The yoke of inadequacies is shattered in the name of Jesus, for you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23 verse 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley. And I will fear no evil, the word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked embargo that restrains you. I declare the liberation from the yoke of horrible limitations over your life, according to Romans 8 2, that says, Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For still the vision awaits in the appointed time, it hastens to the end, it will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it, it will surely come, it will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus. As I pray also, Psalm 27, verse 14, this says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. I declare that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is loosed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sudden stoppage of progress is dismantled as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Psalm 18 verse 21, for by you I can run through troops, and by God I can live over wall. And in the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the yoke of slippery breakthrough 
over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a great turnaround in your life. Every shackle hindering your financial breakthrough is broken. Aligning with Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And my God will supply every need of your life according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny helpers for your breaking forth as an Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of Pasha delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of your life and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the powerful name of Jesus. I expel every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough through. I pray guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus as I declare again and again Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my righteous right hand this is your privileged child of God. Receive it with thanksgiving. As I know God has started a great thing in your life. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The association that you keep either has negative or positive effects upon your attitude, actions, or physical or even spiritual well-being. Your influence for better or for worse by those in whom or with whom you associate. This is why the Bible says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had light with darkness? Now this prayer is important for you. If you've got involved in any evil association, whether willing or unwillingly, join me as I pray that you freely make godly associations. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord for the salvation of the souls of your dear children, whom you are the one that planned for. I thank you for the transformative work you've done and performed in their lives through the salvation of their souls in the name of Jesus. And so Lord God, knowing that they have accepted you, Father, they have discovered a foothold that the enemy has held as I begin to pray with agreement with them that I break any curse that may be operating against them that the enemy has taken advantage of standing on the written word in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 4 for I will be a wall of fire all around declares the Lord and I will be the glory in her midst I pray for the protective walls of fire to surround you now as you have taken this decision in the name of Jesus, I appeal to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. May the blood of Jesus purify you from any negative effects of past associations or even present that you are about to live in the name of Jesus. For you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and in the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every covenant that may be working negatively in your life Isaiah 28 verse 18 says, Then your covenant with death 
will be annulled and your agreement with Shul will not stand. I disown and reject all words spoken over you through involvement in any evil association. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate your image from the altars and culverts of these evil associations. In the powerful name of Jesus, I nullify every and any evil covenant made by your parents on your behalf, cancelling the yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are liberated from the stronghold domineering power and bondage of limitations as declared in Isaiah 49 verse 25. For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the tyrant shall be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you and I will save your children. And so Lord, I declare that this once you are immersed in the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus annulling any evil marks or writings placed on you, aligning with Colossians chapter 1 verse 20, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. I and all, all inherited covenants and those who entered into consciously or unconsciously in the name of Jesus, I demolish the wicked foundations of your life and establish a new one on the solid rock, Jesus Christ, for according to Psalm 18 verse 2, the Lord is your rock, your fortress, in whom you find protection, your shield and your place of safety. I dismantle every hindrance, obstacle or blockade, hindering your progress due to any attachment to evil associations in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 45 verse 2 says, I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I break and nullify every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitchment, or incantation placed upon you through your association with these evil groups before. In the name of Jesus. 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 says, For God's Son holds them securely and the evil one cannot touch them. And I proclaim the same scripture over your body, soul and spirit off limits to all evil spirits, invoking the name of Jesus. I annul every covenant with idols and the yokes associated with them in the name of Jesus. I refuse and invalidate every evil pronouncement imposed on you in Jesus' name. I declare the restoration of any damage inflicted on your body. In the name of Jesus, I disown, counsel and reject any affiliation with any familiar spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the removal of all curses and placed upon your ancestral families due to any of their involvement in evil associations in the name of Jesus. And I break and annul every blood and soul tie covenant and the yokes accompanying it in the name of Jesus. I command the demise of every curse operating against your head through the power in the blood of Jesus. I call upon the divine power of the Lord to draw you out of the waters of affliction in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 18 verse 16, He sent from on high, He took me, He drew me out of many waters. Voices of strangers casting spells against you, I declare that they perish in the name of Jesus. I wipe off every ordinance invoked by the power of darkness into the heavens against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. I call therefore upon the power of God to attack all covens assigned against your head in the name of Jesus as I declare confusion in the midst of their territories. In the name of Jesus, I free you from every grip of ancestral spirits holding you down. In the powerful name of Jesus, I declare that you are released from every spirit that is not the spirit of Christ. For 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 says, But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 7 says, Purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses just as you have renounced them and received Jesus in the name of Jesus. I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life is scattered in the name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil associations in your life according to Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 so that at the name of Jesus 
every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth. The psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34 verse 7, For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with the songs of deliverance. And so I declare that the protection encompasses you from any and every evil association in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary that is in an impenetrable fortress against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with evil companionship. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly associations. In the name of Jesus, I pray the sanctifying work of the Spirit of God break every chain and release you from any bondage forged by the enemy and I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you are hidden in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, shielded from the arrows of any evil association as I renounce any unholy alliances that may seek to draw you away from the perfect will of the Father in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any evil association that may seek to entangle you again. According to Psalm 37 verse 28, For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. I declare that every scheme of the enemy aimed at disrupting your life henceforth is cut off in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the justice of the Lord prevails, that the plans of the wicked already thwarted in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The association that you keep either has negative or positive effects upon your attitudes, actions, or physical or even spiritual well-being. Your influence for better or for worse by those in whom or with whom you associate. This is why the Bible says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had lied with darkness? Now this prayer is important for you. If you got involved in any evil association, whether willing or unwillingly, join me as I pray that you freely make godly associations. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of the souls of your dear children, whom you are the one that planned for it. I thank you for the transformative work you've done and performed in their lives through the salvation of their souls in the name of Jesus. And so Lord God, knowing that they have accepted you, Father, they have discovered a foothold that the enemy has held. As I begin to pray with agreement with them that I break any curse that may be operating against them that the enemy has taken advantage of, standing on the written word in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 4. For I will be a wall of fire all around, declares the Lord, and I will be the glory in her midst. I pray for the protective walls of fire to surround you now as you have taken this decision in the name of Jesus. I appeal to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. May the blood of Jesus purify you from any negative effects of past associations or even present that you are about to live in the name of Jesus. For you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and in the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every covenant that may be working negatively in your life. Isaiah 28 verse 18 says, Then your covenant with death will be annulled and your agreement with Shul will not stand. I disown and reject all words spoken over you through involvement in any evil association. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate your image from the altars and culverts of these evil associations. 
in the powerful name of Jesus, I nullify every and any evil covenant made by your parents on your behalf, cancelling the yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are liberated from the stronghold domineering power and bondage of limitations as declared in Isaiah 49 verse 25. For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the tyrant shall be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you and I will save your children. And so Lord, I declare that this once you are immersed in the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus annulling any evil marks or writings placed on you, aligning with Colossians chapter 1 verse 20, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. I and all, all inherited covenants and those who entered into consciously or unconsciously in the name of Jesus. I demolish the wicked foundations of your life and establish a new one on the solid rock, Jesus Christ, for according to Psalm 18 verse 2, the Lord is your rock, your fortress, in whom you find protection, your shield and your place of safety. I dismantle every hindrance, obstacle or blockade, hindering your progress due to any attachment to evil associations in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 45 verse 2 says, I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I break and nullify every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitchment, or incantation placed upon you through your association with these evil groups before. In the name of Jesus. 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 says, For God's Son holds them securely and the evil one cannot touch them. And I proclaim the same scripture over your body, soul and spirit off limits to all evil spirits, invoking the name of Jesus. I annul every covenant with idols and the yokes associated with them in the name of Jesus. I refuse and invalidate every evil pronouncement imposed on you in Jesus name. I declare the restoration of any damage inflicted on your body in the name of Jesus. I disown, cancel and reject any affiliation with any familiar spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for the removal of all curses and placed upon your ancestral families due to any of their involvement in evil associations in the name of Jesus. And I break and annul every blood and soul tie covenant and the yokes accompanying it in the name of Jesus. I command the demise of every curse operating against your head through the power in the blood of Jesus. I call upon the divine power of the Lord to draw you out of the waters of affliction in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 18 verse 16, He sent from on high, He took me, He drew me out of many waters. Voices of strangers casting spells against you, I declare that they perish in the name of Jesus. I wipe off every ordinance invoked by the power of darkness into the heavens against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. I call therefore upon the power of God to attack all covens assigned against your head in the name of Jesus as I declare confusion in the midst of their territories. In the name of Jesus, I free you from every grip of ancestral spirits holding you down. In the powerful name of Jesus, I declare that you are released from every spirit that is not the spirit of Christ. For 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 says, but the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 7 says, Purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses just as you have renounced them and received Jesus in the name of Jesus. I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life is scattered in the name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil associations in your life, according to Philippians chapter 2 verse 10, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth. The psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34 verse 7, for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with the songs of deliverance. And so I declare that the protection encompasses you from any 
and every evil association in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary that is in an impenetrable fortress against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with evil companionship. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly associations. In the name of Jesus, I pray the sanctifying work of the Spirit of God break every chain and release you from any bondage forged by the enemy. And I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you are hidden in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, shielded from the arrows of any evil association, as I renounce any unholy alliances that may seek to draw you away from the perfect will of the Father in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any evil association that may seek to entangle you again. According to Psalm 37 verse 28, for the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. I declare, that every scheme of the enemy aimed at disrupting your life henceforward is cut off in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the justice of the Lord prevails, that the plans of the wicked already thwarted in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often unleashed by an unseen or inconspicuous sender traverse a meticulously plotted course, aiming to strike their intended target. The sender's strategy involves thorough study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway. For you are temples of the Most High, positioned above principalities and powers. The protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. And so, I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, particularly also for those that have suffered it, not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer. If you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding has been enlightened and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. It said we should call you in the day of trouble and you answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil arrows that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare, bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalm 64 verses 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of malice, 
slander or harm that may have been sent their ways in the authority of Jesus name I ask the God you will return these arrows to their senders causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives but as I stand in the presence of God I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17 I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation relationships and well-being as I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144 verse 6, send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you that have been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, rendering them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of faith be raised high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise. From Psalm 91 verses 4 and 5, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rapid. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be your shield, guarding you from every attack visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you. As I stand upon the authority of God's word, I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest. According to Proverbs 26 verse 2, instead let blessings and favor surround you like a shield as it is written in Psalm 5 verse 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and harm in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous, but we take a refuge in God's word in Psalm 11 verses 2 and 3, the refuge of God's presence. I lift you up to God in this prayer, trusting in the promises of the scripture. For look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows are the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? In this moment, I declare that by the authority granted through Jesus Christ, every arrow aimed at you will fall short for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our Lord. As the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows, seeking to harm the upright in heart, I pray a divine reversal over every arrow sent your way. Just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms, I declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable. In the name of Jesus, I return every evil arrow to its sender, nullifying its intended harm. May these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of faith surrounds you, extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one. As we stand together in prayer, I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness may the enemy's schemes be thwarted and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of jesus christ as i declare that in the face of adversity you will not be shaking god's protection surrounds you and his angels are camp and camp around you the plans of the wicked are broken the arrows of harm are returned void May the peace that surpasses understanding God, your heart and mind in Christ in the name of Jesus. In the face of adversity, I declare 
that the foundations of your life is built upon the rock of Christ, unshakable and unwavering. The arrows of the enemy shall fall short, for God's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached. As we continue to pray, I seek God's guidance and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit be their guide, leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus' name. I declare victory over area of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you, whether visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I know every arrow that has been sent has returned back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said according to your power that is at work in us in Jesus' mighty name we pray amen Please. misfortune is real and it happens everywhere and i'm sure you have experienced it one way or the other but there are those that misfortune has made a stronghold of their lives and so god's intention for a believer is that misfortune would have no foothold in your home the bible says why so downcast all my soul put your trust in god and let me tell you psalm 42 verse 11 says why so disturbed because there is a god in heaven that always is willing to hear our prayers is there any misfortune that you're going through or has been a pattern in your family or your children's life come and let's pray over it as we know that there is a name that is above every other name Jesus that can put a stop to it so join me as we pray against misfortune never again would you see it after this prayer in Jesus name father I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus I know it's not because of me but because of him that has died, resurrected, and is seated with you, that has given me power to say to this mountain, be thou removed, and it is removed. And so, Lord, I stand in agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice, knowing that you are the source of true comfort and solace. And so, Lord, I pray concerning everyone that is going through weariness that is weighing them heavy and miseries that are seeking to destroy them i declare the truth of matthew chapter 11 verses 28 and 30 over their lives as i send the invitation that is in the word of god come to me all who are weary and burning and i would give you rest and so lord i declare as they respond and draw near to you may the burdens the way on their heart be lifted and as your gentle embrace of your love grants them rest in the name of Jesus, I declare that the yoke of sorrow be exchanged for the yoke of God's gentle and humble spirit. I pray against the overwhelming feelings that seek to engulf them. The one that has caused them sleepless night, may the peace that surpasses understanding flow over you, soothing every troubled thought and calming every storm within. In the midst of life's challenges, I pray you anchor your soul in the hope found in God because you are the God who sees the brokenhearted and save those crushed in spirit, Lord. 
As I declare Psalm 34 verses 17 and 18 over them, I pray that Lord God, as they draw near to you, offering comfort you will give to them and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray that they receive your presence and feel as tangible as it is to everyone that knows you. Just as a shepherd cares for the well-being of each sheep, I declare that God Almighty, you make them experience your tender care. I pray over you that the Lord leads you beside still and quiet waters, restoring your soul, even in the darkest valley, every despair looming. I declare a fearlessness in your spirit as you trust God for the deliverance that is coming your way in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are casting every anxiety and every burden upon God as his peace that transcends all understanding is guarding your heart and your mind. The Lord is granting you the courage to release heavy weight and find solace in his unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the grip of misery, declaring freedom and joy over your life. May the burdens of yesterday be replaced with the hope of tomorrow. And may you find strength anew in the promises of God's word. In the name of Jesus. In the presence of our compassionate and loving Father, I lift up a prayer over your life. I declare as you draw strength and solace from the timeless words of Psalm 42 verse 11 and the comforting invitation of Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Oh, precious soul, if you find yourself in the depths of despair, I stand with you in the moment of prayer, seeking the tender embrace of our Savior. Let these words be a balm to your weary spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I quote the word of God in Psalm 42 verse 11 where it says, why my soul are you downcast why so disturbed within me put your hope in god for i will yet praise him my savior and my god and this is my prayer over you that you will find hope in the midst of this despair i pray that the light of god's promises may pierce through the darkness surrounding you right now in the name of jesus as you come before God, burdened and tired, may you experience the rest that only God can provide. In the midst of life's struggle, may you lay down the heavy yoke of mystery at the feet of Jesus, and may you embrace a gentle and humble spirit, finding comfort in the arms of the one who understands your every burden. I pray that his peace envelops you, bringing a respite to your troubled soul in the name of Jesus. I pray for God's supernatural touch upon your life may he heal the wounds of sorrow lift the weight of despair and infuse your heart with the peace that surpasses human understanding replacing every tear with the joy that comes from trusting in god's steadfast love i pray for you as you navigate the journey ahead may you be reminded of god's promise in psalm 23 verse 4 even though i walk through the darkest valley i will fear no evil for god is with me your rod and your staff they comfort me and I declare that the assurance of God's presence brings courage upon your life, dispelling the shadows of mystery. And in this moment of prayer, I declare victory over the grip of despair in your life. May you emerge from the death strengthened by the grace of our Lord. And may the melody of his praise replace the symphony of the enemy's sorrow that is overwhelming you. I declare that every misfortune that has cost you pain over the years, that the Spirit of God that has spoken through His Word in Joel 22 verse 25, that you receive every lost years, every lost moment, every lost hours into your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord Himself will replace for you every lost days. I declare that your misfortunes are repaid back a hundredfold for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your shame you receive double. For every pain the Lord God gives you a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. May the comfort that God gives unto you become the anchor for you to help every other person that would go through the same period in the name of Jesus. I pray that no longer would you experience any misfortune that the lie of the devil in your life that you have received over the truth of God in your life today that every lie of the devil remains a lie and God's truth in your life is exalted above every lie in the name of Jesus 
I pray that every misfortune that wants to take and perpetuate itself even into your family's life from now onward, you have brought it to an end. It stops with you. It will not go to the next generation of your life and your family in the name of Jesus. I declare that every misfortune in your business, the Lord restores to you. Every misfortune that has happened to you in your health, the Lord has restored you a great health like never before in the name of Jesus. As God gave the general, gave him a body of a baby, so it is with you that every misfortune that has come as a result of sicknesses and diseases when people see you henceforth, they would wonder what newness has come upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that no longer would you be afraid of the enemy's plans as he comes because you know the word of God. You will arise with the word of God and you will declare and you will have your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare you free from every misfortune now and forevermore as you remain under the shadow of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. In this sacred space of prayer, let us lift our hearts together to the Almighty God, drawing strength from the powerful promise found in 1 John 4, 4. As we embark on this spiritual journey, I pray that the words of the scripture become a shield against the schemes of the enemy over your life. So let us pray. Dear Father, I come before your throne in the mighty name of Jesus. And I come to receive grace, acknowledging your sovereign authority and the truth declared in 1 John 4 4. As I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare that you may have a strong knowledge that you are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. In the assurance of this divine truth, I stand united with the Lord God Almighty against any force that seeks to sow discord, fear or darkness in your life. I declare that the power residing in you through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit surpasses any influence that the adversary may attempt to weld. God's word affirms that the greater one, the almighty, dwells within you, and therefore no force of darkness can withstand the radiance of God's divine presence. In the authority of Jesus Christ's name, I rebuke every scheme of the enemy that has sought to infiltrate your life, and I declare that the chains of oppression are shattered and any foothold the devil may have sought to establish is dismantled by the victorious name of Jesus. May the Lord fill your heart and mind with the unwavering confidence that they are not alone in the spiritual battle. The very essence of His being, the creator of the universe, resides within you. May this knowledge empower you to stand firm, clothed in the spiritual armor mentioned in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 12. I declare that you are being equipped so that you resist the wiles of the enemy. In moments of doubt, may you be reminded that the authority given to you by Christ is not of this world. The power to overcome lies not in your own strength, but in the immeasurable might of the Holy Spirit working within you. As he illuminates your path with the light of God's truth, guiding you away from the snares set by the evil one, I pray that you may be vigilant, discern in the subtle whispers of the enemy, seeking to sow seeds of confusion, fear, or despair. May the Lord grant you a discerning spirit to recognize the tactics of the adversary and the wisdom to rebuke any lie that contradicts God's word. May the Lord fortify your mind against the onslaught of negative thoughts, anxieties, and temptation. May every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ aligning with the truth that sets you free from the bondage of deception. As you stand on the premise of 1 John 4, 4, I declare victory over every area of your life. May the victory of Christ be manifest in your relationships, your work, your thoughts, and your spiritual walk. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit be a beacon of light dispelling any darkness that attempts to linger. I pray for a renewed sense of peace, joy, and purpose to permeate your life. 
Let the abundant life promised by Jesus in John 10.10 10, be realized in every area of your being. Lord, we thank you for the victory won on the cross as they trust in your word and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. I affirm over their lives that they are overcomers through Christ. May God's love surround you, casting out all fear and ushering in the freedom found in the knowledge that they are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I lift a prayer over your life, drawing strength from the powerful truths embedded in Matthew 4.10 and 1 Peter 5 verses 8 to 9. Let this prayer be a shield of faith as you stand together with everyone in agreement with me against the schemes of the enemy. I pray that you may heed the words of Matthew 4.10 where Jesus declared, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. And in this moment, I declare with conviction and clarity that your allegiance belongs solely to the Lord and I declare that the enemies knows that there is no room for compromise in your life in the name of Jesus. As you face the challenges of life, may the Holy Spirit empower you to stand firm against the deceiver. I invoke the spirit of resistance within you, drawing from 1 Peter 5 verses 8 and 9, which warns, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And so in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every tactic and scheme of the enemy that seeks to devour your peace, joy, and well-being. I come against and resist the whispers of doubt, fear, and temptation that the adversary may try to instill in your heart and mind. Stand firm in the unwavering faith that our Lord Jesus Christ is your protector and your deliverer. I pray for a divine covering over your life. May the angels of the heaven encamp around you, guarding against every onslaught and assault of the enemy. Let the light of your truth dispel, Lord God, the darkness that seeks to cloud their thoughts and emotions. May you, Lord God, strengthen their spiritual armor, fortifying them against the fiery arrows of doubt and despair as they navigate the journey ahead. May the all authority given to you through Jesus Christ be evident in every aspect of your life. May you boldly proclaim the victory of the cross, recognizing that the one who is in you is greater than the force that may come against you. I pray for discernment and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to recognize the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit guide you in making choices that align with God's will choices that lead to righteousness and peace. In the moments of weakness, may you find strength in God's word and in the premises that it holds. Let Psalm 27 verse 1 resonate in your heart. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of your life. Of whom shall I be afraid? May the assurance of God's presence be a source of courage, dispelling all fear and anxiety. And in the name of Jesus, I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord fill you with his love, joy and a sound mind. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this prayer and declaration of freedom and victory over the schemes of the devil in your life is answered with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Limitations are roadblocks the enemy set on your way to success. They prevent progression in life. They prevent you from being what God has set for your life. The good thing is that when we have a God that is bigger and above our limitations, as 1 John 4, 4 says, you dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. So when God sent Moses to go bring the children of Israel out of Egypt, Moses talked about his limitations with his speech. The Lord said to him in Exodus 4 verses 11 and 12, Then the Lord said, Moses, who makes a person's mouth? Who decides whether people speak or do not speak? Hear or do not hear, 
see or do not see? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, I will be with you as you speak and I will instruct you in what to say. Limitations cannot affect God. Therefore, join me as I pray against any spirit of limitations hovering around your life. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you with thanksgiving, knowing that we would not be rejected by you. We come in the name that is above every other name as we stand firm in the authority granted to us through Christ who has conquered all principalities and powers. And we rebuke every spirit of limitations that attempt to shroud your life with doubt, fear and obstacles. The word assures in Psalm 3 verse 3 that the Lord is a shield around you, your glory, the one who lifts your head. Therefore, I pray protection against every onslaught of the enemy. As you navigate the battlefield of life, I pray for a lifting of your head. I declare that every heavy burden of discouragement and despair is removed in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the light of the glory of the Lord shines upon you casting out the darkness that attempts to cloud your vision and hinder your progress in Jesus' name. The Word of God declares that the Lord is the lifter of your heads, and I therefore declare elevation for you above the limitations set by the enemy. I break every chain that seeks to bind your potential, and I speak release over you from the shackles of limitations in Jesus' name. I pray the Spirit of God empowers you to break through barriers of limitations and overcome obstacles due to limitations in Jesus' name. I declare that the spirit of limitations be replaced by the spirit of boundless possibilities as you trust in your unfailing promises of the Father in Jesus' name. I declare freedom from every trap of limitations, whether in your minds or circumstances. For Romans 6.18 says, You have been set free. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit breaks through the walls of confinement, opening doors that were once closed and unblocking the fullness of the purpose of the Lord for your life. I pray inside for you to recognize and overcome limitations that may hinder your progress in Jesus' name. I pray that your heart is filled with courage and perseverance, knowing that the Lord's strength is made perfect in your weakness and limitations. We bind and cast out any spirit of insecurity that hinders your confidence in the Lord's abundant provision. In the name of Jesus, I pray that your anxieties are replaced with the faith with Christ, all things are possible. I declare that every old structure that wants to limit your destiny from springing forth collapses in the name of Jesus. Psalm 24 verse 7 which states, Lift up your heads, O gate, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. In that vein I declare that in the name of Jesus, every gate of limitation in your business or career is lifted up from its head in the name of Jesus. I declare that the King of Glory is welcome into your life and business. I pray that every limitation in your life, business and career bows to his Lordship. In the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit of limitations that seeks to hinder the growth and the prosperity of your business and career. I declare and decree that every decree of limitation spoken against your business and career is null and void. Just as the gates of your business are lifted, I declare that the gates of heaven releases favor, breakthroughs and divine opportunities over your business and career in Jesus' name. I pray for divine connections and strategic partnerships in your business that will propel your business beyond human limitations in Jesus' name. I declare that every spirit of limitation is rendered powerless. I release the constraints of the past and pray that you are open to the transformative work of the Holy Spirit. And I declare in the name of Jesus that every generational curse, every negative word spoken over your life and every chain that binds you to a limited mindset, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. And in the authority that has been given to us, I rebuke any hold of the spirit of limitation that has been in order to hinder the fullness of the Lord's purpose for your life. I declare that your life is a vessel for the glory of God and I renounce any agreement you have made with the spirit of limitation, whether knowingly or unknowingly. I stand against any force of limitations that opposes the good intentions and plans of the Lord for your life. 
Isaiah 43 verse 19 proclaims, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I declare that the Lord is doing a new thing in your life. I pray that you perceive the unfolding of God's divine plan for your life, breaking free from every spirit of limitation. As I declare that every scales of limitations that are obstructing your vision fall off from your eyes that you may see clearly the parts ways of blessing and breakthrough the Lord has prepared for you. Let your light shine upon the dark areas of your life, dispelling any shadow of limitation. I rebuke every spirit of limitation that has manifested in various aspects of your life, whether it be in relationships, career, health or personal growth. I declare that these limitations are not the final decree over your destiny. I command every hindrance set by these limitations in your life to be removed. I pray that as you confront the challenges before you, you stand on the promise that the Lord will make a way in the wilderness for you. In the midst of life's uncertainty and struggles, may you trust in the Lord's ability to create paths where there seem to be none. I reject the notion of stagnation and declare breakthroughs, opportunities and divine interventions in every area of your life. I rebuke the spirit of unbelief and I pray it is replaced with a steadfast faith in the Lord's promises. Just as rivers flow in the desert, as in Isaiah 41, 18, it says, I will open up rivers for them on the high plateaus. I will give them fountains of water in the valley. I will fill the desert with pools of water. I declare rivers fed by springs will flow across the past ground for you and living water from the Lord rejuvenates and brings life to the dry and barren areas of your existence. I pray that the streams of the Lord's grace and mercy overflows, quenching the thirst of your soul, granting you freedom from now until the coming of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. In the tapestry of life, where joy and challenges intertwine, the adversary seeks to sow seeds of discord, doubt and despair. As we traverse the intricate parts of our journeys, we are not immune to spiritual battles that unfold in the unseen realms. It is in these moments of vulnerability and uncertainty that the fervent call to prayer becomes an unyielding beacon of hope and protection. The enemy, in various guises, endeavors to assail our minds, relationships, health and spiritual well-being. His subtle tactics aim to breed confusion, fear and a sense of defeat. Yet, we stand on the threshold of divine intervention armed with a profound truth that prayer is our spiritual lasano against the forces of darkness. So this prayer is a deliberate and steadfast invocation, a sacred dialogue with the Almighty that transcends the temporal and pierces the veil of the spiritual. It is a proclamation of our resilience on the sovereign power of God to shield us from the schemes and attacks of the enemy. In the symphony of supplication, we seek not only protection, also the restoration of what may have been affected or marred by the adversary's relentless assaults. As we lift our voices in unity, we acknowledge that our strength lies not in our might, but in the omnipotent grace of the divine, who is God Almighty. This prayer is an act of spiritual warfare where we will the sword of the word, invoking promises that declare our victory in Christ Jesus. It is an affirmation that in the face of adversity, we are not abandoned or defenseless, for we are held in the palm of the Almighty's hand. Join in this sacred endeavor. Let your heart resonate with the collective plea for divine intervention. As we bow in humility, we recognize that our prayers are not mere words, but potent instruments, shaping the cause of spiritual battles and ushering in the triumphant light that dispels the darkness of the enemy's scheme. This prayer seeks or stands as a testament to our unwavering trust in the one who is our refuge and fortress, the ultimate guardian against the onslaught of the enemy. 
adversary, Jesus Christ. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart filled with trust and reliance on your promises in the name of Jesus. Today I lift you up, you that are under the sound of my voice, in fervent prayer standing against any attack of the enemy that may seek to harm or hinder your life. God's word in Psalm 91 verse 10 provides a steadfast assurance, declaring no evil shall befall you, no plague come near your tent. And so I anchor our faith in this promise, believing that you are under the protective shield of God's divine love. I specifically pray against every plot, scheme and tactic that the enemy may orchestrate to bring harm to you. I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned. As promised in Isaiah 54 verse 17, I claim this as your heritage trusting in God's unfailing protection. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke and cast out every spirit of fear, doubt and confusion that the enemy may attempt to sow in your heart and mind. God's word in 2 Timothy 1 7 assures us that you have not been given a spirit of fear but of power, love and of a sound mind. I pray for a supernatural infusion of your power, love and the soundness of mind to permeate every aspect of the life of those under the sound of my voice. I invoke the promise of Psalm 34 verse 7 over you right now that the angel of the Lord encamps around you who fear him and delivers you. I pray for the encampment of God's mighty angels around you creating a protective barrier against every spiritual attack. May his angels deliver you from every snare of the enemy, ensuring your safety and well-being. And I stand against the attacks of the enemy. I declare in the name of Jesus through the authority bestowed unto me of God's word in Luke 10 verse 19, that affirmed, Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of that enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. In the name of Jesus, I exercise this authority over your life, trampling over the plans and machinations of the adversary. I thank God for you, for being your refuge and fortress. I speak peace into every area of your life, trusting in God's unwavering protection. Philippians 4, 7 promises, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I claim this peace for you, a peace that guards your heart and mind from the attacks of the enemy. I lift this prayer with a heart full of faith, knowing that God's word is true and his promises are sure. I entrust you into God's loving hands and his protection, confident that you are shielded by his grace. May your life be a testimony of God's faithfulness and the victory that you have in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come before the throne of grace with a heart full of trust and dependence on God's unfailing love and protection. Today I declare and I lift to you up, child of God, in prayer, standing firm on the powerful promise found in Psalm 91 verse 7, which declares a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. I specifically invoke the assurance of God's word over you. In the face of any attack that the enemy may devise, I declare that you are securely sheltered under the shadow of God's almighty's wings. His promise brings comfort and confidence, assuring that despite the challenges and adversities you may have surrounding you, no harm shall befall you. I acknowledge the reality of spiritual battles and the forces that seek to undermine, discourage and harm you. But with unwavering faith, I declare that you are protected by God's divine hand. The multitude of challenges and adversities that may arise on the left or the right like a torrential storm will not touch you. In the name of Jesus, you are protected as God's protective presence surrounds you like an impenetrable fortress. I rebuke every scheme, plot, and attack of the enemy aimed at your life, family, and circumstances in the powerful name of Jesus. And I annul the plans of the adversary, rendering them powerless against the shield of divine protection that encompass you. I proclaim that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in accordance with the word of God in Isaiah 54, 17. I pray for a heightened awareness of God's presence in your life. May you be attuned to the whispers of the Holy Spirit, guiding and directing their steps away from the snares of the enemy. 
I ask for discernment and wisdom to recognize and resist the subtle attacks that may attempt to infiltrate your thoughts, emotions and relationships. As the psalmist declared in Psalm 91 verse 7, it will not come near you. I claim this promise over your life. No calamity, no adversity, no attack will come near you. I speak a hedge of protection, a divine boundary that shows you from the arrows of the enemy. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding you away from every snare set by the adversary. I pray for your spiritual armor to be steadfast and unyielding. I declare you are clothed with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. May you stand firm, rooted, and grounded in God's word, equipped to withstand every attack. Thank you, Father, for the assurance and security found in your promises. And I declare this prayer with conviction, trusting that God's protective hand covers everyone under the sound of my voice as they say amen may the god of peace which surpasses all understanding guard your heart and mind in christ in the name of jesus i pray amen the association that you keep either has negative or positive effects upon your attitudes actions or physical or even spiritual well-being your influence for better or for worse by those in whom or with whom you associate. This is why the Bible says in Proverbs 13 verse 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And in 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had light with darkness? Now this prayer is important for you. If you've got involved in any evil association, whether willing or unwillingly, join me as I pray that you freely make godly associations. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of the souls of your dear children, whom you are the one that planned for i thank you for the transformative work you've done and performed in their lives through the salvation of their souls in the name of jesus and so lord god knowing that they have accepted you father they have discovered a foothold that the enemy has held as i begin to pray with agreement with them that i break any curse that may be operating against them that the enemy has taken advantage of standing on the written word in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 4 for I will be a wall of fire all around declares the Lord and I will be the glory in her midst I pray for the protective walls of fire to surround you now as you have taken this decision in the name of Jesus I appeal to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. May the blood of Jesus purify you from any negative effects of past associations or even present that you are about to live in the name of Jesus. For you have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and in the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every covenant that may be working negatively in your life. Isaiah 28 verse 18 says, then your covenant with death will be annulled and your agreement with Shul will not stand. I disown and reject all words spoken over you through involvement in any evil association. In the name of Jesus, I disassociate your image from the altars and culverts of these evil associations. In the powerful name of Jesus, I nullify every and any evil covenant made by your parents on your behalf, cancelling the yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are liberated from the stronghold domineering power and bondage of limitations as declared in Isaiah 49 verse 25. For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken and the prey of the tyrant shall be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you and I will save your children. And so Lord, I declare that this once you are immersed in the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus annulling any evil marks or writings placed on you. 
aligning with Colossians chapter 1 verse 20 and through him to reconcile to himself all things whether on earth or in heaven making peace by the blood of his cross. I and all all inherited covenants and those who entered into consciously or unconsciously in the name of Jesus I demolish the wicked foundations of your life and establish a new one on the solid rock Jesus Christ for according to Psalm 18 verse 2 the Lord is your rock, your fortress, in whom you find protection, your shield and your place of safety. I dismantle every hindrance, obstacle or blockade, hindering your progress due to any attachment to evil associations in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 45 verse 2 says, I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I break and nullify every curse, spell, hex, enchantment, bewitchment or incantation placed upon you through your association with these evil groups before in the name of Jesus. 1 John chapter 5 verse 18 says for God's son holds them securely and the evil one cannot touch them. And I proclaim the same scripture over your body, soul and spirit off limits to all evil spirits invoking the name of Jesus. I annul every covenant with idols and the yokes associated with them in the name of Jesus. I refuse and invalidate every evil pronouncement imposed on you in Jesus name. I declare the restoration of any damage inflicted on your body in the name of Jesus. I disown counsel and reject any affiliation with any familiar spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for the removal of all curses and placed upon your ancestral families due to any of their involvement in evil associations in the name of Jesus. And I break and annul every blood and soul tie covenant and the yokes accompanying it in the name of Jesus. I command the demise of every curse operating against your head through the power in the blood of Jesus. I call upon the divine power of the Lord to draw you out of the waters of affliction in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 18 verse 16, He sent from on high, He took me, He drew me out of many waters. Voices of strangers casting spells against you, I declare that they perish in the name of Jesus. I wipe off every ordinance invoked by the power of darkness into the heavens against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. I call therefore upon the power of God to attack all covens assigned against your head in the name of Jesus as I declare confusion in the midst of their territories in the name of Jesus. I free you from every grip of ancestral spirits holding you down in the powerful name of Jesus. I declare that you are released from every spirit that is not the spirit of Christ. For 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 says, but the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 7 says, Purge me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses just as you have renounced them and received Jesus in the name of Jesus. I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life is carted in the name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil associations in your life according to Philippians chapter 2 verse 10 so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth. The psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34 verse 7 for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with the songs of deliverance. And so I declare that the protection encompasses you from any and every evil association in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary that is in an impenetrable fortress against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with evil companionship. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly associations. In the name of Jesus, I pray the sanctifying work of the Spirit of God break every chain and release you from any bondage forged 
by the enemy and I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you are heeding in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, shielded from the arrows of any evil association, as I renounce any unholy alliances that may seek to draw you away from the perfect will of the Father in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any evil association that may seek to entangle you again. According to Psalm 37 verse 28, for the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. I declare that every scheme of the enemy aimed at disrupting your life henceforth is cut off in the name of Jesus. As I declare that the justice of the Lord prevails, that the plans of the wicked already thwarted in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. In Jeremiah 17 verse 14, the plea is heard, O Lord, heal me and I shall be healed. Also, chapter 30 verse 17 of the same book of Jeremiah says, God says, I will restore your health and I will heal your wounds. God's concern extends to every facet of your being, body, soul, and spirit. Whether we seek physical, emotional, or spiritual healing, God is aware and compassionate. As you align with God's will, you can anticipate complete healing. God is not merely a healer in biblical narratives. He remains consistent across time as said in Hebrews 13, 8. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals, as mentioned in Exodus 15, verse 26, and Jesus Christ, the healer of the infirm in the New Testament, continues to be the same healing God today. God desires the redeemed to approach him in prayer for healing, demonstrating trust and dependence in him while recognizing that ultimate healing stems from Him. Utilize this healing prayer as you seek strength and comfort from God, as I agree with you. Please follow me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come boldly to God Almighty, knowing that I would never be rejected. And so I express gratitude to you, Father, for your mighty power, capable of healing all diseases and infirmities in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge Psalm 103 verses 2 and 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. According to the word of God in Jeremiah 30, 17, I will give you back your health and heal your wounds, says the Lord. So I pray for the restoration of your health, the healing of any diseases in your body, and the return of joy to your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for the Lord's mercy upon your life and healing upon your wounds in the name of Jesus. In accordance to Psalm 6 verse 2, Have compassion on me, Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. I speak healing from the affliction of sickness and diseases in your life. I pray that your faith is uplifted to receive the healing from the Lord, as written in Mark 5 verse 34, that says, Jesus said to the woman, You are now well because of your faith. May God give you peace. You are healed and you will no longer be in pain. I declare that you receive healing in your body just like that woman. And I decree strength and power to every weak part of your system in the name of Jesus. May every dead cell and tissue be restored and returned to function in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life, declaring the sickness and diseases have no place in your body. I rebuke the spirit of infirmity in Jesus' name. Your body is not a dwelling place for it. I pray that the Lord infuses divine energy into your bones. I declare according to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 that by the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are healed. And so I declare also that you are whole, hale and hearty in Jesus' name. Psalm 107 verse 20 says he sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. I declare that the word of God 
is your strength and your refuge against sickness. I pray that whenever you send sickness encroach in your life, you lean on the assurance that the word, like a mighty sword, persists through afflictions in the name of Jesus. And in the face of physical ailments, emotional scars, and spiritual battles, I claim the healing power of the spoken word in Isaiah 53 verse 7 over you. But he was pierced for your transgressions. He was crushed for your iniquities. The punishment that brought you peace was on him, and by his wounds you are healed. I pray the Lord's divine presence surrounds you, creating a shield against the attacks on your health and well-being in the name of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus be a fortress repelling every force that seeks to harm you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of sickness, fear and doubt in your life. I pray that the dark corners of your life where pain and suffering resides be exposed in the name of Jesus. I pray that healing hand of the Lord guides you towards the path of wholeness, restoring every broken aspect of your being. I rebuke every and any spiritual oppression of sickness in life in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any regenerational curses or negative patterns of sickness in your life. According to Isaiah 38, 16 to 17, all oh, restore me to health and make me live behold it was for my welfare that i had great bitterness but in love you have delivered my life from the pit of destruction for you have cast all my sins behind your back i pray in his mercies the lord delivers you from the pit of destruction and sickness in the name of jesus as i also pray that with gratitude you recognize the depth of god's grace as he casts your sin behind your back offering you a path to healing as you receive him I pray that the Lord breathes his revitalizing breath into every aspect of your being, bringing restoration and wholeness in Jesus' name. I rebuke any spiritual forces that may be contributing to your ailment. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break the chains of oppression and declare freedom from every bondage of sickness in your life. I pray that the power of God's love and redemption dismantle any stronghold that hinders your very well-being. I pray that your thoughts with the promises of the Father, acknowledging that his plans for you are plans of perfect health and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. As I cast away any doubts that may assail your mind, trusting in the divine purpose of God in your life. The word of God in Psalms 139 verse 14 declares that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. May this truth resonate within you, bringing healing to your mind and emotions in Jesus' name. In moments of weakness, I pray you draw strength from the promises of the Father to you in His Word, which assures you that His grace is sufficient. May you surrender your weaknesses to Him, knowing that His strength is made perfect in your inadequacies. I pray that the Lord upholds you with His righteous right hand, sustaining you through every trial and temptation and tribulation the sickness brings your path. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you are covered by the atoning power of Christ and no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I pray that the presence of the Lord be a balm, soothing every wound and bringing restoration to your physical and spiritual being in the name of Jesus. I declare that every knee of disease and infirmity in your life bows, inspired by Philippians chapter 2 verse 10, so that at the name of Jesus, Every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. I decree the drying up of the fountain of discomfort in your body, invoking the healing power of God to overshadow you as in line with Exodus 15, 26. I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord your healer. I denounce every of your engagement with the spirit of sickness seeking deliverance through the Holy Spirit and purging your system from every evil deposit with the Holy Ghost fire. In accordance to Romans 8 verse 2, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. And so Father we thank you because healing is the bread of your children. We receive it in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
In the tapestry of life, where joy and challenges intertwine, the adversary seeks to sow seeds of discord, doubt and despair. As we traverse the intricate parts of our journeys, we are not immune to spiritual battles that unfold in the unseen realms. It is in these moments of vulnerability and uncertainty that the fervent call to prayer becomes an unyielding beacon of hope and protection. The enemy, in various guises, endeavors to assail our minds, relationships, health and spiritual well-being. His subtle tactics aim to breed confusion, fear and a sense of defeat. Yet, we stand on the threshold of divine intervention armed with a profound truth that prayer is our spiritual asano against the forces of darkness. So this prayer is a deliberate and steadfast invocation, a sacred dialogue with the Almighty that transcends the temporal and pierces the veil of the spiritual. It is a proclamation of our resilience on the sovereign power of God to shield us from the schemes and attacks of the enemy. In the symphony of supplication, we seek not only protection, also the restoration of what may have been affected or marred by the adversary's relentless assaults. As we lift our voices in unity, we acknowledge that our strength lies not in our might, but in the omnipotent grace of the divine, who is God Almighty. This prayer is an act of spiritual warfare where we will the sword of the word, invoking promises that declare our victory in Christ Jesus. It is an affirmation that in the face of adversity, we are not abandoned or defenseless, for we are held in the palm of the Almighty's hand. Join in this sacred endeavor. Let your heart resonate with the collective plea for divine intervention. As we bow in humility, we recognize that our prayers are not mere words, but potent instruments, shaping the cause of spiritual battles and ushering in the triumphant light that dispels the darkness of the enemy's scheme. This prayer seeks or stands as a testament to our unwavering trust in the one who is our refuge and fortress, the ultimate guardian against the onslaught of the enemy, adversary Jesus Christ so let's pray dear Heavenly Father I come before you with a heart filled with trust and reliance on your promises in the name of Jesus today I lift you up you that are under the sound of my voice in fervent prayer standing against any attack of the enemy that may seek to harm or hinder your life God's word in Psalm 91 verse 10 provides a steadfast assurance, declaring no evil shall befall you, no plague come near your tent. And so I anchor our faith in this promise, believing that you are under the protective shield of God's divine love. I specifically pray against every plot, scheme and tactic that the enemy may orchestrate to bring harm to you. I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against you in judgment is condemned. As promised in Isaiah 54 verse 17, I claim this as your heritage trusting in God's unfailing protection. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke and cast out every spirit of fear, doubt, and confusion that the enemy may attempt to sow in your heart and mind. God's word in 2 Timothy 1.7 assures us, that you have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. I pray for a supernatural infusion of your power, love, and the soundness of mind to permeate every aspect of the life of those under the sound of my voice. I invoke the promise of Psalm 34 verse 7 over you right now that the angel of the Lord encamps around you who fear him and delivers you. I pray for the encampment of God's mighty angels around you creating a protective barrier against every spiritual attack. May his angels deliver you from every snare of the enemy, ensuring your safety and well-being. And I stand against the attacks of the enemy. I declare in the name of Jesus through the authority bestowed unto me of God's word in Luke 10 verse 19 that affirmed, Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of that enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. In the name of Jesus, I exercise this authority over your life 
trampling over the plans and machinations of the adversary. I thank God for you for being your refuge and fortress. I speak peace into every area of your life, trusting in God's unwavering protection. Philippians 4, 7 promises, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I claim this peace for you, a peace that guards your heart and mind from the attacks of the enemy. I lift this prayer with a heart full of faith, knowing that God's word is true and his promises are sure. I entrust you into God's loving hands and his protection, confident that you are shielded by his grace. May your life be a testimony of God's faithfulness and the victory that you have in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come before the throne of grace with a heart full of trust and dependence on God's unfailing love and protection. Today I declare and I live to you up child of God in prayer, standing firm on the powerful promise found in Psalm 91 verse 7, which declares a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. I specifically invoke the assurance of God's word over you. In the face of any attack that the enemy may devise, I declare that you are securely sheltered under the shadow of God's Almighty's wings. His promise brings comfort and confidence, assuring that despite the challenges and adversities you may have surrounding you, no harm shall befall you. I acknowledge the reality of spiritual battles and the forces that seek to undermine, discourage and harm you. But with unwavering faith, I declare that you are protected by God's divine hand. The multitude of challenges and adversities that may arise on the left or the right like a torrential storm will not touch you. In the name of Jesus, you are protected as God's protective presence surrounds you like an impenetrable fortress. I rebuke every scheme, plot, and attack of the enemy aimed at your life, family, and circumstances in the powerful name of Jesus. And I annul the plans of the adversary, rendering them powerless against the shield of divine protection that encompass you. I proclaim that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in accordance with the word of God in Isaiah 54, 17. I pray for a heightened awareness of God's presence in your life. May you be attuned to the whispers of the Holy Spirit, guiding and directing their steps away from the snares of the enemy. I ask for discernment and wisdom to recognize and resist the subtle attacks that may attempt to infiltrate your thoughts, emotions and relationships. As the psalmist declared in Psalm 91 verse 7, it will not come near you. I claim this promise over your life. No calamity, no adversity, no attack will come near you. I speak a hedge of protection, a divine boundary that shows you from the arrows of the enemy. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, guiding you away from every snare set by the adversary. I pray for your spiritual armor to be steadfast and unyielding. I declare you are clothed with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. May you stand firm, rooted, and grounded in God's word, equipped to withstand every attack. Thank you, Father, for the assurance and security found in your promises. And I declare this prayer with conviction, trusting that God's protective hand covers everyone under the sound of my voice as they say amen may the god of peace which surpasses all understanding guard your heart and mind in christ in the name of jesus i pray amen the lord stands as your ultimate deliverer as steadfast in every aid in moments of trouble he rescues us from the clutches of adversaries, serving as both our shield and a protector. His continuous assistance echoes in Psalm 46 verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Trust in the assurance of divine protection, for the Lord not only shields you, but actively intervenes on your behalf. And so in times of distress, draw upon his promises, finding solace in the unwavering throat that he is your ever-present refuge and deliverer from the hands of the enemies. And so I need you to join hands as we pray this prayer and believe that you will get the answer in Jesus' name. And so Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you 
as we bow before your throne of grace seeking deliverance from the depths of our heart. In the name of Jesus, echoing Psalm 50 verse 15, resonating in the chambers of our supplication, we declare, Lord, we call upon you in the day of trouble. You said you would deliver us and you will honor us. Echoing Psalm 50 verse 15, as it resonates in the chambers of our supplication. Father, I declare, as your word says, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. And so, oh, heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand lifting your name in reverence, that in the tempest of distress, as we call upon your name, Lord, trusting in the promise that you hear us, as we cry in the day of trouble, Lord, we declare that we will seek refuge in the shelter of your mercy, knowing that you are our deliverer. Lord God Almighty, we ask in this prayer of deliverance, we pray the words of Psalm 144 verses 7 and 8. And we plead, Lord God, reach down your hand from on high and deliver us and rescue us from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. In the face of overwhelming challenges, I cry out for your divine intervention, declaring upon everyone under the sound of my voice that's trusting your hand and your mighty merciful reach. Lord God Almighty, we ask that you lift us from the turbulent waters that seek to overwhelm. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that as they depend solely on your grace, that every area of their lives where they are allowed deceit and falsehood to take root with a contrite heart, Lord God, we are surrounding to your truth, seeking deliverance from the snares of deception that entangled us in the name of Jesus. And I rebuke every scheme of the enemy, every hand of deceitful forces that seek to bind and hinder their parts. Let God's truth be a light that exposes the truth. And may the power of the force be shattered by the authority of God's word. Father, I pray that God Almighty, as they acknowledge you, Lord God, as their rock, their fortress and their deliverer. And as it's been proclaimed in Psalm 18 verse 2, in the refuge of God's love, you may find solace. And so God, in the face of trials that surrounds them, may they take shelter in your unwavering protection, confident that you, God Almighty, you are the stronghold against every of their adversaries. In the realms of deliverance, Lord God Almighty, I declare that, Lord God, you hide them and guard them with their hand through the tumultuous waters. May your presence be a beacon of hope, dispelling the shadows of fear and uncertainty. I declare victory over every foreign force that opposes God's purpose for you. And I pray that your deliverance springs forth from God's mighty hand as you await the manifestation of God's power. I pray for the patience to choose to, to trust in God's perfect timing. And may the Lord strengthen your faith and grant you the patience to endure, knowing that his promises are true and your deliverance is sure. In the day of trouble, may you cling to God's word, confident that your cries reach God's ears. Let this prayer for deliverance be a sweet fragrance before you, Father God, as we plead that God Almighty, you draw near to our plea and your attention is fixed on us. May your deliverance bring not only freedom, but also a testimony that magnifies your glorious name in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in the presence of the Almighty, there is fullness of joy. And so Lord, I lift up everyone up, seeking deliverance with a full heart of faith and a spirit anchored in the promises of your word. As they embark on this prayerful journey with me, let the words of Psalm 40 verse 17 resonate within their beings. But as for you, you are poor and needy. May the Lord think of you. You are my help and my deliverer. You are my God, do not delay. In the refuge of God's love, I stand with you, recognizing your need for deliverance. And I declare with unwavering faith that may the Lord be your help and deliverer. 
In the moments of despair, may his divine intervention be swift and his mercy abundant. As I lift my voice, let the proclamation of Psalm 18 verse 2 be a fortress around you. The Lord is your rock, your fortress and your deliverer, your God and is your rock in whom you take refuge, your shield and the horn of your salvation, your stronghold. In the name of Jesus, I declare the power of this truth, acknowledging that in God, you will find strength and safety in the name of Jesus. I recognize the struggles and challenges you go through. As we come before God's throne of grace, I bring forth every burden, every chain that binds and every snare that entangles. In the authority of Jesus Christ's name, I break the bonds of darkness and declare freedom over you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be your guide and light in the midst of darkness, leading you out of the shadows of despair into the radiant light of his word. May his word be a lamp unto your feet, illuminating your path of deliverance that he has ordained for you. In moments of weakness, may the Lord strengthen your resolve. In times of confusion, may God grant you clarity and wisdom. Let the assurance of God's presence be a source of comfort. A reminder that you are not alone in this journey. I rebuke every force of darkness that seeks to hinder your deliverance, whether it be the chains of doubt, fear, or any form of oppression. I break them in the name of Jesus. The word declares that whom the Lord sets free is free indeed, and I claim this freedom over your life. May the angels of the Lord encamp around you, forming the shield against any spiritual assault. Guard your heart, mind, and spirit with God's divine protection. Let the peace that surpasses all understanding fill your heart as you trust in God's deliverance. I ask for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the precious soul under the sound of my voice. Let it bring forth a renewal of strength, a revival of hope, and a restoration of joy. The Lord's mercies are new every morning, and I trust that this deliverance will be a testament of God's grace and faithfulness and I seal this prayer with gratitude believing that God is at work even when we cannot see may you experience the transformative power of God's deliverance becoming a living testimony to God's unfailing love in Jesus mighty name we pray amen our heavenly father is a deliverer Isaiah 12 2 says look God is my deliverer. I will trust in him and not fear. He hears when his children call upon him. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you. The children of Israel did it. Exodus 2, 23 to 25. But the Israelites continued to groan under their budding of slavery. They cried out for help and their cry rose up to God. God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant promise to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He looked down on the people of Israel and knew it was time to act. The Lord is always ready to rescue his children from the clutches of the enemy. You can key into this prayer as I pray for deliverance for you from any attack of the enemy. The word of God in Psalm 18 verse 48 says, you have delivered us from our enemies and exalted us above those who rise against us. I declare that the Lord alone is your rock, your fortress and your deliverer, rescuing you from the snares of the enemy that entangles you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the full armor of God. By the authority given to me through Jesus Christ, we command the enemy to flee from your life. I bind the schemes of the enemy that seeks to kill, steal and destroy in the name of Jesus. And I reject any foothold the enemy seeks to establish in your life. In the name of Jesus, I break every bondage over your life and declare freedom over your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 27 verse 1, I declare that the Lord is your light and salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the stronghold of your lives. Of whom shall you be afraid? I pray that the Lord upholds you with his righteous right hand and grants you victory over the schemes of the evil one. 
in the face of the enemy's schemes i declare that the love of the father surrounds you and you take refuge in his unwavering faithfulness for he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world in the name of jesus i rebuke the works of the enemy that seek to steal your peace joy and the abundant life the lord has promised you in his word you receive it even now by the authority given to us through jesus christ i cast out every spirit of fear doubt and confusion that hinders you from fully embracing the promises of the father in the name of jesus according to psalm 138 verse 7 though i walk in the midst of trouble you will revive me you will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand would save me i pray for light for you when you tread through the valleys of challenges casting out the darkness that attempts to engulf you i declare that this happens to you in the name of jesus may you stand firm in the face of the adversities for you are more than conqueror through christ who loves you in jesus name i break every chain that binds you whether it is the chains of sin oppression or despair the truth sets you free and i declare freedom over every area of your life i pray that you are empowered to resist temptation that may lead you into the trap of the enemy i pray grace for you continually in walking in righteousness leading you from the path of destruction as you march into the battles of life i declare the promise from deuteronomy 20 verse 4 you go with us to fight against our enemies and to save us i pray that the presence of the lord goes before you leading the way to victory we rely on your guidance and protection lord god knowing that in you we find our strength and so i declare the victory reigns over your business and career in the name of jesus i bind and rebuke every force of darkness that seeks to obstruct your path for no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment is already condemned according to psalm 44 verse 7 but you have saved us from our adversaries and you have put to shame those who hate us i declare your victory over your adversaries at work i place your career and business endeavors into the capable hands of the lord i pray every form of darkness in your workplace is exposed in the name of jesus and i pray that your eyes are enlightened to recognize the strategies of the enemy in business i pray wisdom to navigate challenges with grace and integrity in the name of jesus i pray that every anxieties fears and uncertainties that you have about your job is replaced with the peace of jesus in the mighty name of jesus i surrender your family into the loving hands of the father in accordance with psalm 18 verse 19 which says he brought me out into a spacious place he rescued me because he delighted in me i pray that the power of the lord leads your family into a spacious place of deliverance and harmony i declare the victory is your family's portion as i rebuke every plan of the enemy to sow discord strive or harm within your family unit in the name of jesus i bind any attack from the enemy that opposes the well-being of your family members as i break the chains of fear doubt and discouragement targeted at your family in the name of jesus i pray that your family stands firm in the assurance that the lord is your refuge and fortress your ever present help in times of trouble and just as the psalmist from the hands of his enemies was delivered may god's mighty hand deliver your family from the clutches of the enemy in the name of jesus i declare the promise of the father in psalms 34 17 the righteous cries out and the lord hears them he delivers them from all their troubles over you in the face of adversity you are delivered i renounce any foothold that the enemy may have gained in your life in the name of jesus i declare the cleansing power of the precious blood of jesus christ washes away every stain and stronghold breaking the chains that bind you in the name of jesus 
I break every generational curse, every evil assignment, and every chain that seeks to hinder progress and your walk with the Father in the name of Jesus. By the power of his resurrection, I break every chain and stronghold that the enemy has attempted to place upon you as I declare that the mighty angels of the Lord are dispatched to surround and guard you. I declare that they wage war against the spiritual forces of evil on your behalf in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any demonic oppression or hindrance that may be at work in your life. According to Psalm 59 verse 1, Deliver me from my enemies, O my God, set me securely and high, away from those who rise up against me. I release the power of God to bring deliverance, healing and restoration in every area where the enemy has sought to wreak havoc. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spiritual entity that opposes the perfect will of God for your life. As I pray you abound in deliverance from every attack, oppression and influence from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. As a child of God, you have been given victory over death because of Christ's victory. Revelation 1.18 says, And I am the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and Hades. The keys of death are in the hands of Christ. Therefore, as a co-heir with Christ, you have dominion over death. In Christ, life and abundance has been bestowed unto you. As in John 10, 10 b says, I am come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You can join as I pray against the power of death in your family with authority of Christ that has been given to us. In the name of Jesus, I offer this prayer with a fervent appeal for life to triumph over death and for hope to prevail over despair. May the presence of God bring comfort, strength and peace, transcending the limits of your understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I raise my voice in earnest prayer against the shadows of death that may try to envelop you and your family. Boldly I am standing before the throne of grace, armed with the potent truth of John 11:26, as I declare with unwavering faith that as your family believes in Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, they will live despite facing the temporary grip of death. In this moment, I reject the hold of fear and claim the victory that Christ has secured for you and your family over the realms of mortality in the name of Jesus. I invoke the assurance of Revelation 21.4. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the day will come when the tears streaming down your face will be wiped away by the tender hand of our Heavenly Father. The promise resonates with authority. There will be no more death, mourning, crying, or pain. The old order of things will pass away, making room for divine restoration and eternal joy. I affirm that the mercy of the Lord is poured out upon you and your family. His grace and mercy upon you and your family. In the face of the unknown and the threat of mortality, may the truth of these verses anchor your souls. May the believe in Jesus Christ resonate within you and your family as a powerful force dispelling the shadows and ushering in the brilliance of life in Jesus name as I stand against the forces of death I rebuke any lingering doubts or fears that may assail your family members spirits may the resurrection power of Jesus be evident in every fiber of their being breaking the chains that death attempts to impose I declare that you and your family are more than conquerors through him who loves you and no darkness can withstand the illuminating life of Christ's victory in the name of Jesus. I sincerely pray for you and your family asking for strength and resilience. May you courageously confront the challenges ahead with unshakable faith. May the Lord enfold you and your family in the comforting embrace of his love, shielding all your family members from the immobilize and fear that death often imposes on mortal minds in the name of Jesus. 
As you journey through this difficult time, may God's guidance lead you and your family with wisdom and discernment. Let his support and assurance symbolized by his staff strengthen your trust in God's unwavering promises. May the Lord bestow upon you and your family the ability to walk confidently, recognizing that even in your darkest moment, the light of God penetrates through the shadows. Your word declares, Lord God Almighty, in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I claim this promise for you and your family, who now face the uncertainty of life's most formidable adversary. May you and your family find solace and courage in the assurance that his presence accompanies you and your family through every step of this daunting journey. In the face of death's taunting presence, I echo the triumphant proclamation of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 55, declaring, Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? We defy the power of death through the victory won by the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And in that name, I nullify the grip of fear and despair that seeks to entangle your spirit. Let the truth of Christ's triumph resonate in your heart, dismantling the hold that death seeks to impose. Isaiah 25 verse 8 resonates in the corridors of eternity, proclaiming, He will swallow up death forever. The Sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. And in this moment of distress, I cling to this promise of ultimate victory over death. May God's divine intervention obliterate the power of death over you and your family, bringing forth a manifestation of his glory and grace in your family members' life. May the Lord surround you and your family with a speed that goes beyond comprehension, confronting the unknown. May the certainty of God's promises serve as your anchor. I affirm the realization of Revelation 21.4 in your life declaring the elimination of tears, the absence of death, of mourning, crying, and pain. God's divine order prevails over your life in the name of Jesus. I present this prayer as a shield of faith against encroaching shadows. May the authority of God's word be established and may you remain steadfast in the assurance that in Jesus' death is overcome and eternal life awaits. In the midst of grief and the looming presence of death, I approach the throne of grace with heavy and burdened heart. I stand on the solid foundation of God's word, particularly in Revelation 21.4, where he promises to wipe away every tear that abolish death itself. I pray that untimely death is eradicated from your family's life and that long life with the Lord satisfies you and your family. For your family member facing the harsh reality of mortality, I invoke the authority of God's word. And I confidently state that the promise as conveyed by the Apostle Paul is not merely a distant hope, but a present reality for you. Amidst sorrow, I declare that God, who removes the sting of death, provides eternal comfort. Relying on the assurance in Psalm 91 verse 16, which asserts, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I lift up your family members up. My plea is anchored in the promise of abundant life that you, O oh Lord, extend to those who seek your refuge. I pray for the Lord to surround your family members with divine protection, guarding against the looming specter of death. As I affirm the truth of the scripture over your family, I declare that God's desire for you is a life filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. May you experience the richness of days lived in accordance with God's will, liberated from the grip of premature death. I reject any plans of the enemy aiming to cut short the journey God has ordained for your family. May divine satisfaction overflow into every aspect of your existence, ushering in a life marked by grace, mercy and favor. May the Lord grant you and your family the wisdom to walk in obedience to God's word and may the promise of satisfaction and long life be a testament to God's faithfulness in your life. I entrust the days of your family members into the loving hands of God, believing that His perfect will 
on false longevity and purpose in the mighty and matchless name of the resurrected Jesus, I pray. Amen. The Lord instructs and equips you for battle, training your hands for warfare. He assumes the role of your divine warrior, fighting on your behalf, allowing you to experience peace. This resonates with Exodus 14, 14. The Lord would fight for you and you have only to be silent. As he imparts wisdom and skill for the battles you face, rest in the confidence that divine intervention ensures tranquility. Your role is to trust, standing in awe of one who not only teaches your hands to war, but also fights on your behalf, securing a serene peace in the midst of struggles. The Lord imparts skill to your hands for battle, guiding you in the art of war. He takes up the fight on your behalf, ensuring victory and you, in turn, will explain and experience tranquility. The divine instruction echoes in Psalm 144 verse 1. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Trust in the Lord's tutelage for he not only equips you, but actively engages in the battle, granting you the privilege of holding your peace while he secures triumph. Now embracing the training and finding solace in the peace bestowed by the Lord's victorious intervention is what you should inculcate. So let's join in this prayer as we trust God for peace and tranquility in our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you acknowledging your sovereignty over the battles that are sailed your beloved children. Our victory is already assured because we know before we step into that battle, you already have given us victory. And so I stand on the precipice of uncertainty as I anchor the soul of everyone under the sound of my voice in the unwavering promises of God, guided by the words of Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 22 that says, do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. And so in the name of Jesus, O Lord, in this sacred moment, I immerse everyone under the sound of my voice into your mighty presence, surrendering their fears and anxiety. And I speak to you, may you take solace in the assurance that the battles you face are not yours alone, but God's. May the almighty God who holds the universe in his hand, fight on your behalf as you tread through the tempests of life's challenges. I claim this victory and truth revealed in Exodus 14 verse 14 for you. The Lord will fight for you. You would only need to be still. In the stillness of this moment, I pray for you that you surrender your striving, your doubts and your weaknesses. I pray for you that you relinquish the burden of self-reliance, for in the Lord's strength you shall find refuge. I pray for the discernment upon you to recognize the schemes of the enemy, the courage to stand firm in the face of adversity, and the wisdom to discern God's will in every circumstance. May the Lord strengthen your faith, and I pray that you may find solace in God's promises and unwavering trust in God's divine plan. May you come to the acknowledgement that you are not only in this spiritual warfare. The Lord goes before you as a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day leading you into the victory he has ordained for you. The word of God declares that you need only to be still and the Lord would fight for you. May the Lord grant you the grace to rest in his sovereignty, knowing that his perfect will shall prevail in the name of Jesus. In the battle of your life, where doubts assail and fear looms, I speak strength into you, that you may lift up your eyes to God, the author and finisher of your faith. May he empower you with the spirit, that you stand strong against the onslaught of the adversary. May he clothe you in the armor of faith, righteousness and truth, that you may withstand the fiery arrows aimed at your heart in the name of Jesus. I declare the promises of the Lord over your life, echoing the truth of Deuteronomy 3.22, 
You shall choose not to be afraid. The Almighty God fights on your behalf. With boldness I proclaim this truth over you, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, for you are a child of the Most High God. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the schemes of the enemy, declaring victory over every spiritual attack. May the angels of God encamp around you, providing a hedge of protection against the forces of darkness. May the Lord grant you discernment to recognize the lies of the enemy and the strength to resist temptation in Jesus' name. As you navigate the challenges ahead, let the peace of the Lord which surpasses all understanding guard your heart and mind. I pray that you place your trust in God, acknowledging that his plans for you are plans for good and not for harm. I offer this prayer with a gratitude for God's faithfulness and confidence in God's unfailing love. In the name of Jesus, in the presence of the Almighty, I stand before you, O Lord, embracing the power of prayer as I am back on the spiritual journey that the enemy got nothing on everyone under the sound of my voice who believes in you as in the book of Psalm 18 verse 13 declares you call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and you are saved from your enemies I declare you will call upon God and he will answer you and save you because he is your very present help in time of trouble may you find refuge in the shadow of God's wings you shall find solace and today I declare that the word of God as in 2nd Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 that says the weapon we fight with are not the weapons of the world on the contrary they have divine power to demolish strongholds in the face of unseen adversaries you shall stand firm in the name of Jesus knowing that the strength you wield is not of this world but is bestowed upon you by the Almighty I lift you up beloved child before the throne of grace as you journey through the intricacies of spiritual warfare, may the praise on your lips be a melody that resonates in the heavens. Let the declaration of Psalm 18.3 reverberate a testament to the unwavering faith that dwells within. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from our enemies. And this I pray that the belt of truth surrounds you, empowering you to stand resolute against the lies of the adversary. May the breastplate of righteousness guard your heart, shielding you from the arrows of deceit that seek to peace the core of your being. May your feet be shod with the readiness of the gospel of peace, paving the way for a journey, guarded by the principles of love and compassion, taking up the shield of faith, beloved, that you may distinguish the fairy dart aimed at your soul. In the helmet of salvation, find assurance of the eternal grace that encases your thoughts and mind, protecting them from the snares of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let strongholds crumble. Let the forces of darkness retreat in the face of divine power vested in you. May your prayerful words be like arrows of light, piercing through the darkness that seeks to envelope your path in Jesus' name. In the authority of Christ, I bind and rebuke any force that opposes the divine purpose for you. I declare victory over the schemes of the adversary, trusting through Christ that you have the strength to overcome. May the angels of the Lord encamp around you, forming a mighty shield against any spiritual assault. As you journey through this prayerful battle, let the promises of God be a fortress, an unshakable refuge from which to declare victory over every challenge, visible or unseen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we wait this prayer of war, knowing that the battle is the Lord and we stand in the assurance of his unfailing love and victory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. The assurance Jesus gave us in John 14, 27 is a distinct gift from the Lord. As expressed, I leave you peace give you my peace I don't give it to you as the world gives don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid this divine peace is not merely the absence of turmoil but a constant sense of tranquility and contentment stemming from unwavering trust in God's sovereignty and goodness Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 encourage believers to present their concerns to God in prayer leading to an extraordinary peace that guards their thoughts and emotions in Christ Jesus. 
Ultimately, the peace of God is a bestowed one or a gift and a product of spiritual growth and connection with God, allowing one to surrender his or our worries, fears, and anxieties to God. This aligns with Jesus' words in John 16, 33. And I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The Lord desires you to experience this unique peace. So join me in this prayer to ensure your family embraces this divine tranquility. Let us pray. Just as the psalmist acknowledges the Lord's blessings of strength and peace in Psalm 29 verse 11, that says the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Father, in the name that is above every other name, I come with thanksgiving, knowing that as I earnestly for your abundant blessings upon everyone under the sound of my voice, the Lord, they are blessed with an overwhelming sense of presence of peace to reign within their hearts and within the walls of their home. I pray that you would experience the richness of divine peace, which will be tangible in your daily lives, influencing your thoughts, words, and actions. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord would be upon you, providing you with peace which will give strength to face life challenges, courage and resilience in Jesus' name. In the midst of busy shadows and external pressures, I pray that you prioritize moments of stillness and reflection, allowing on the peace of the Almighty Father to permeate every corner of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your home be a sanctuary of peace, radiating the warmth of love, of the Father to all who enter it. Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. I ask for the peace to descend upon you. And in the midst of any turmoil or uncertainty you may be facing, may the peace of the Lord envelope your hearts and minds. Let it be a soothing balm in moments of distress and a steadfast anchor in times of uncertainty in Jesus' name. I pray for you. May you have the assurance that the ultimate source of peace is found in Christ alone. May his calming presence be left within your heart, bringing harmony where there is discord, healing where there is brokenness, and restoration where there is division. The relationships within your family, I declare, they are marked by understanding, forgiveness, and compassion. Our pray love and unity is fostered in every environment of your relationships where each member of supports and encourages one another growing stronger together in faith and resilience. I declare victory over the spiritual battle that you may be facing. In the name of Jesus, I nullify every scheme, plan or assignment of the enemy aimed at disrupting your peace. I speak harmony and unity into your life. By the authority bestowed upon us through Jesus Christ, I bind and break every stronghold of darkness, releasing Jesus' perfect peace over you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 72 verse 7 proclaims, In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. Therefore I ask in the name of Jesus, the righteousness to flourish within the, your heart and peace to overflow in your life. I speak the ushering of peace and abundance into every facet of your life in the name of Jesus. May the atmosphere of your home be saturated with the peace that comes from walking in the righteous ways of the Lord. As I pray abounding peace for you, I also pray for the community around you. May peace radiate from your home, influencing those you encounter. May you be used as an instrument of peace for the Lord, spreading the fragrance of God's love to neighbors, friends, and beyond. I put your destiny in the competent custody of the Father. May you always be accompanied by peace as you move through the challenges of life. I declare you are protected from life storms in the name of Jesus, and you always find peace, whether in happy or sad times. The word of God in Psalm 4 verse 8 reminds us of the promise of the Father to grant peace and rest to those who trust in Him. And I pray for that same peace 
to descend upon you, embracing each member of your family with it. I pray for you to lie down in peace, knowing that the Lord makes everyone dwell in safety. May you experience being surrounded with loving arms of the Father, shielding them from any harm of fear, granting them peace in the name of Jesus. And the words of Matthew 11:28, where the Lord offered, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I pray as you navigate the trials that weigh heavy on your heart, may you find comfort in the promise of the Lord of rest and peace. I pray for peace to descend upon you like a gentle dove, soothing troubled hearts and quieting restless spirits. As you navigate these uncertain waters, may your faith in God grow stronger. May you find comfort in the assurance that the Lord is walking beside you every step of the way, offering guidance, strength, and everlasting source of hope. I come against any spiritual forces of darkness that may seek to disturb the peace within you, and I rebuke any forms of discord, fear, and turmoil. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I declare that anywhere they are locking in the spiritual realm, hindering the manifestation of the peace of your life, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. Daniel 10, 19 says, And he said, O man greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. So I declare, as Daniel was encouraged not to fear but to be strong, I pray for strength for you. You're equipped with spiritual armor to withstand any attacks on their peace and unity. May you stand firm in faith, trusting in the Lord's protection and provision. I bind and cast out every spirit of strife, contention and confusion that attempts to infiltrate your relationships and I proclaim peace as a force that shields and guards your hearts and minds over your lives creating an impenetrable fortress against the schemes of the enemy thank you Lord Jesus as I thank you also knowing that courage and strength is already there for them as they face spiritual opposition targeting their peace we we'll receive peace and tranquility for we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. Please, as a believer and in accordance with your faith, you've been instructed to stand resolute, recognizing that you have not just given existence, but endowed with a spirit of sound mind. It's crucial to discern that the stories of fear and faith resonate in the rhythm of your attentive hearts. Reflect on the moment where Gideon, hesitating before the battlefield, received the angel's comforting proclamation, God is with you. This mirrors the timeless reality that with the Almighty beside you, no opposition can endure. Embedded deep within your very core, God establishes his dwelling, an unseasoned wellspring of boundless love and unwavering assurance dismantling any justification for fear. So embrace the profound realization that the abiding presence surpasses the strength of any external force. And the sacred exchange of prayer, recall Psalm 34 verse 4, and I quote, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Now the Lord is ever ready to rescue you from fear. So if only you can join me as I raise my voice in prayer on your behalf and on my behalf, standing against the grip of fear. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. O oh, loving Father, I express my thanks to you for your beloved children, grateful for your unwavering faithfulness. I lift away all worries concerning them and their family, guiding them securely from each challenge. As I ask you, Lord God, to expose and remove the deep-seated roots of anxiety within the family's hearts. And so I address you that may the truth of God's word echo through your family, establishing an unshakable foundation 
resilient against fierce storms in the name of Jesus. Surrendering your family's fears at his feet, I do right now as I trust in his perfect love that casts out all fears. As stated in 1 John 4 18, may the Lord infuse you with his love, dispelling anxiety and bringing tranquility. May your family encounter profound peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. I reject the spirit of fear that seeks to paralyze you and your family. May the authority of Christ triumph over every anxious thought and emotion in your family members be felt. May the Holy Spirit guide each one as they replace fear with faith, uncertainty with confidence, trusting in God, the author and the perfecter of their faith. May every family member move forward with renewed strength, fortified by God's word and surrounded by his unwavering love. And in the powerful and comforting name of Jesus, I pray before the throne of grace as I intercede for you and your family whose hearts are entangled in the grip of fear. I stand on the solid foundation of God's word, seeking refuge in promises that resonate with strength and assurance for you in the name of Jesus. I bring your family before the throne of God's grace, relying on the assurance from Isaiah 49 verse 10, which proclaims, do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Acknowledging the challenges and uncertainties your family encounters, may you firmly grasp the truth that God's presence is a powerful antidote to fear. May you and your family sense his nearness in moments of apprehension. May the Lord strengthen you and your family, echoing the sentiment of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, confirming that the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. May the Lord shatter the chains of anxiety, seeking to entangle the thoughts and emotions of every family member. Make his power surge through your family, infuse and courage, love, and a clear, unwavering mind that stands firm against the waves of fear. As your family journeys through shadows, I proclaim the assurance of Psalm 23 verse 4, even though you pass through the darkest valley, you will fear no evil for the Lord is with you. His rod and his staff, they bring you comfort. And so may the Lord be the guiding presence in the life of every of your family member, dispelling fear with the assurance of his constant companionship. May the comfort and touch of his rod and staff ease all concerns for you and your family, leading you safely through trial. I anchor my supplication in the words of Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I declare this truth over you and your family members' life, that the Lord shall be your radiant light, dispelling the shadows of fear. He shall be your family's salvation, the ultimate rescue from the clutches of anxiety. He will remain an unshakable stronghold that renders fear powerless for your family in Jesus' name. I petition the throne of grace in agreement with you, earnestly seeking the release of your family from the chains of fear. Let the command of God's courage that comes from Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 resonate within your being, igniting the strength that can only come from God's presence. May the peace promised in Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 descend upon your family, settling like a gentle dove, bringing tranquility to the turbulent waters of your family member's soul. And in the profound truth of Psalm 27 verse 1, may your family find confidence knowing that with God as their light and stronghold, fear has no place. I lift up this prayer with unwavering trust in God's ability. Yes to dispel fear and replace it with the courage that comes from knowing him. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And so in the name of Jesus, I uplift the spirit of your family, declaring the directive to be strong and courageous as God's divine presence accompanies every step taken by you and your family. May the realization of God's unwavering companionship dispel the shadows of fear encroaching upon the souls of you and your family members. 
May all of you find comfort in the words of Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so in the name of Jesus, I place the anxieties of you and your family at his feet, wrapped in the cloak of prayer and gratitude as I intercede on your behalf. May the Lord envelope the hearts and minds of your family members with a surpassing peace, a peace that surpasses understanding and serves as an impenetrable guard against the onslaught of fear. In the powerful name of Jesus, our ultimate wellspring of strength, and I proclaim in the resounding verses of Psalm 27 that you and your family need not fear anything, for the one with you is greater. May the Lord be an unassailable fortress for your family, impervious to the anxieties attempting to encroach. May the resonance of this truth reverberate within your family, drowning the moments of fear with a steadfast declaration that no fear can prevail in God's presence. I dismiss the stronghold of fear and establish a secure foundation of faith amid uncertainty. I lay claim to the certainty of God's abiding presence I pray that your family walks in the assurance that with God as your stronghold, fear holds no sway. I pronounce a blessing of peace upon your family. May the truth of Psalm 27 verse 1 be engraved upon your heart. A constant reminder that in God's light, fear dissipates and in God's fortress, courage takes root. In the mighty and prevailing name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. It is known that words can be used to build or break people and things. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 11.9 says, Evil words destroy, godly skill rebuilds. This is why the enemy through men can speak evil words over you and that will result to death. But then the scripture, which is full of life, can be used to dismantle evil words spoken over you or your family, as it says in 2 Corinthians 10, verses 4 and 5. Our weapon for battling challenges aren't worthy. They possess divine might to demolish strongholds. We refute arguments and every exalted opinion that contradicts God's truth taken captive every thought to align with Christ. And so I encourage you to join me in this prayer as I pray against evil words spoken over you or your family. So let's pray. The word of God in Psalms 140 verses 1 and 2 say, Rescue me, Lord, from evil doers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. I pray in the name of Jesus for your family that they are rescued from every falsehood spoken against them. I pray that they are delivered from the snares of those who seek to devour them with their tongues, from the schemes and actions of those who seek to destroy you through their wicked speech or action. Your family is covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Your family is protected from the violence of words and deeds aimed at their reputation and well-being. May your family be upheld in the embrace of the Father which raises a barrier to prevent them from harm that comes from the tongues of the malicious in Jesus' name. I pray for peace to reign in the heart of each of your family member despite the storms of slander that may rage around them. I pray that they shall not be weighed down by the intentions of those who have ill will against them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that in the shadow of the love of the Father, I pray that your family find solace and strength. I declare that every darkness created by the word spoken against your family is dissipated. I declare that your family is graced to respond with grace and wisdom in the face of adversity, knowing that justice from the Lord will prevail in Jesus' name. I pray that your family is protected by the Lord from the harm caused by those who use their tongues deceitfully, as stated in Psalms 12 verse 5, because the poor are plundered and the needy grown. I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. 
I proclaim that justice prevails over every malicious intention aimed at your family's well-being in the name of Jesus. I beseech the Lord to arise and intervene on your family's behalf to protect them from harm from those who look to malign and harm your family through their works. I pray strength for any members wounded by the arrows of verbal assault in Jesus' name. May the comfort and presence of the Lord encircle them in offering peace and fortitude in the midst of spiritual battle in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every lying tongue and deceitful mouth that seeks to harm and destroy your family in the name of Jesus. I command the power of these evil tongues to be silenced as I pray that every hidden agenda aimed at your family be exposed. I pray wisdom to navigate through the treacherous terrain of deceitful tongues and to recognize the schemes of enemy in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 12 verse 6 affirms, and the words of the Lord are flawless like silver purified in the crucible, like gold refined seven times. I pray on the strength of this truth that the purity of God's word guards your heart and minds and also of that of your family members against pollution of lies and deceptions in the name of Jesus. May the word of God be your foundation unshakable amidst the storms of slander and falsehood. I rebuke the power of every evil tongue and every malicious word spoken against your family. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the silencing of these destructive voices. May authority in the name of Jesus Christ render ineffective every weapon formed through deceitful speech. I pray your family is shielded from the damaging effects of slander and deceit. I speak healing to the wounds inflicted by hurtful words in the name of Jesus. In accordance to Psalm 12 verse 7, You Lord will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. I pray that the comfort and peace of the Lord is poured out upon your family that has been affected by the arrows of slander. I pray restoration and wholeness to the affected hearts and minds in your family. I pray against any bitterness and hatred that build in the heart of members of your family against those who speak malicious words against them. I pray that they are enabled to rise above the negativity of evil tongues and to stand firm in the truth of God's word in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 12 verse 13, may the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. I pray that the Lord will silence all the flattering lips and boastful tongues that seek to prevail against your family. I declare that no tongue can stand against the authority of the name of Jesus backing you up. I pray that the lips of those who speak against your family be humbled before acknowledging that Christ alone is Lord over all in the name of Jesus. I pray discernment for your family to recognize manipulation and falsehood as I pray that their hearts is guarded against the lies that surround them. I pray that deception concealed in the hearts of those who flatter with their leaves are exposed in the name of Jesus. I also pray that your family will not succumb to the provocations designed to unsettle their spirits. When faced with the stumbling blocks of manipulative speech, I pray your family remains unshaken and steadfast on the word in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will vindicate your family as in Psalm 140 verse 12. But I know the Lord will help those they persecute. He will give justice to the poor. I pray calmness for your family. And the storms of conflict and hostility brewed by those whose tongues sow discard and strive. I pray that their surroundings be filled with peace and soothing of the turmoil created by the divisive words of the malicious in the name of Jesus. I pray resilience and fortitude to rise above the chaos caused by malicious words. I pray that your family steps be ordered into the right direction so they do not cross part with those who plot mischief and spread the poison of the words against them. Their schemes shall be thwarted by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 140 verses 4 and 5, Keep me safe, Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who devise ways to trip my feet. I pray that from the deceitful schemes and calculated words aimed at causing your family distress, they are protected. In the name of Jesus, 
as I pray that they are safeguarded from the violence of words and actions meant to stumble and hinder their progress. The family steps are guarded against the traps set by those who seek to undermine their journey. From today onward, in Jesus' mighty and protective name we pray. Amen. The assurance Jesus gave us in John 14, 27 is a distinct gift from the Lord. As expressed, I leave you peace. I give you my peace. I don't give it to you as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. This divine peace is not merely the absence of turmoil, but a constant sense of tranquility and contentment stemming from unwavering trust in God's sovereignty and goodness. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 encourage believers to present their concerns to God in prayer, leading to an extraordinary peace that guards their thoughts and emotions in Christ Jesus. Ultimately, the peace of God is a bestowed one or a gift and a product of spiritual growth and connection with God, allowing one to surrender his or our worries, fears, and anxieties to God. This aligns with Jesus' words in John 16, 33. And I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The Lord desires you to experience this unique peace. So join me in this prayer to ensure your family embraces this divine tranquility. Let us pray. Just as the psalmist acknowledges the Lord's blessings of strength and peace in Psalm 29 verse 11, that says the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Father, in the name that is above every other name, I come with thanksgiving, knowing that as I earnestly for your abundant blessings upon everyone under the sound of my voice, the Lord, they are blessed with an overwhelming sense of presence of peace to reign within their hearts and within the walls of their home. I pray that you would experience the richness of divine peace which will be tangible in your daily lives, influencing your thoughts, words and actions. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord would be upon you, providing you with peace which will give strength to face life challenges, courage and resilience in Jesus' name. In the midst of busy shadows and external pressures, I pray that you prioritize moments of stillness and reflection, allowing on the peace of the Almighty Father to permeate every corner of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your home be a sanctuary of peace, radiating the warmth of love of the Father to all who enter it. Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. I ask for the peace to descend upon you. And in the midst of any turmoil or uncertainty you may be facing, may the peace of the Lord envelope your hearts and minds. Let it be a soothing balm in moments of distress and a steadfast anchor in times of uncertainty in Jesus' name. I pray for you. May you have the assurance that the ultimate source of peace is found in Christ alone. May his calming presence be left within your heart, bringing harmony where there is discord, healing where there is brokenness, and restoration where there is division. The relationships within your family, I declare, they are marked by understanding, forgiveness, and compassion. Our pray love and unity is fostered in every environment of your relationships where each member of supports and encourages one another growing stronger together in faith and resilience. I declare victory over the spiritual battle that you may be facing. In the name of Jesus, I nullify every scheme, plan or assignment of the enemy aimed at disrupting your peace. I speak harmony and unity into your life. By the authority bestowed upon us through Jesus Christ, I bind and break every stronghold of darkness, releasing Jesus' perfect peace over you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
The word of God in Psalm 72 verse 7 proclaims, In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. Therefore I ask in the name of Jesus, the righteousness to flourish within the, your heart and peace to overflow in your life. I speak the ushering of peace and abundance into every facet of your life in the name of Jesus. May the atmosphere of your home be saturated with the peace that comes from walking in the righteous ways of the Lord. As I pray abounding peace for you, I also pray for the community around you. May peace radiate from your home, influencing those you encounter. May you be used as an instrument of peace for the Lord, spreading the fragrance of God's love to neighbors, friends, and beyond. I put your destiny in the competent custody of the Father. May you always be accompanied by peace as you move through the challenges of life. I declare you are protected from life storms in the name of Jesus, and you always find peace, whether in happy or sad times. The word of God in Psalm 4 verse 8 reminds us of the promise of the Father to grant peace and rest to those who trust in Him. And I pray for that same peace to descend upon you, embracing each member of your family with it. I pray for you to lie down in peace, knowing that the Lord makes everyone dwell in safety. May you experience being surrounded with loving arms of the Father, shielding them from any harm of fear, granting them peace in the name of Jesus. And the words of Matthew 11:28, where the Lord offered, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I pray as you navigate the trials that weigh heavy on your heart, may you find comfort in the promise of the Lord of rest and peace. I pray for peace to descend upon you like a gentle dove, soothing troubled hearts and quieting restless spirits. As you navigate these uncertain waters, may your faith in God grow stronger. May you find comfort in the assurance that the Lord is walking beside you every step of the way, offering guidance, strength, and everlasting source of hope. I come against any spiritual forces of darkness that may seek to disturb the peace within you, and I rebuke any forms of discord, fear, and turmoil. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I declare that anywhere they are locking in the spiritual realm, hindering the manifestation of the peace of your life, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. Daniel 10, 19 says, And he said, O man greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. So I declare, as Daniel was encouraged not to fear but to be strong, I pray for strength for you. You're equipped with spiritual armor to withstand any attacks on their peace and unity. May you stand firm in faith, trusting in the Lord's protection and provision. I bind and cast out every spirit of strife, contention and confusion that attempts to infiltrate your relationships. And I proclaim peace as a force that shields and guards your hearts and minds over your lives, creating an impenetrable fortress against the schemes of the enemy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As I thank you also knowing that courage and strength is already there for them as they face spiritual opposition targeting their peace. We we'll receive peace and tranquility for we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. In this world marked by fallenness, sin and constant conflict, the imperative of God's protective presence becomes even more pronounced. Our reliance on his shielding becomes a paramount necessity amid the challenges presented by a world tainted by sin and characterized by ongoing strife. It is within the context of this falling and warring environment that the significance of God's protection is underscored. Now in acknowledging our vulnerability, we turn to the divine for refuge, recognizing the need for his guidance and safeguarding in navigating the complexities of a world steeped in sin and perpetual conflict. Join me as I pray for God's protection over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray for you 
coming with thanksgiving to the throne of grace, knowing that God always hears our prayer. That you take refuge in the truth of Proverbs 18 verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and are saved. I declare that the, may the Lord be your strong tower as you seek refuge and shelter in the assurance of his mighty name. May he guard you against the winds of adversity and may his peace be your anchor in the midst of life turbulence. As you step into the new day or new hour or new week, may you recognize that your journey in God's hands and may you find assurance in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil. And may the Lord establish you in his truth, guarding you against the schemes of the enemy and fortifying your heart with the armor of his faithfulness. I surrender your plans, hopes and aspiration for the new year into his love and care. Make his divine protection encompass you, allowing you to walk confidently in his purpose in the name of Jesus. I rebuke in the name of Jesus every plan of the enemy aimed at causing harm or hindrance against you. I nullify every curse, every evil assignment and every negative word spoken against you and your destiny. I release the power of God's word, which is sharper than any two-edged sword, to dismantle and destroy every attack of the enemy. In the face of every challenge, every threat and every scheme of the adversary, in this new year, you find safety in the wings of the Father as in Psalm 91 verses 3 to 4. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. I claim deliverance for you from every step and trap set by the enemy. You are shielded from every snare, every temptation, and every danger lurking in the darkness and in the shadows in Jesus' name. I rebuke every plan of the enemy aimed at you to cause harm or turmoil. I nullify every plot, every evil scheme, and every assignment of darkness against you. May the light of the Lord shine brightly within and around you, dispelling all darkness and confusion. I pray discernment and wisdom for you to recognize the enemy's tactics. Your faith is strengthened to stand firm and resist every attack from the enemy. I decree that no evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling in the name of Jesus. I declare peace over your life. In times of turmoil, of chaos, you always experience peace that surpasses all understanding. May you stand firm in faith, knowing that the Lord is sovereign, ever present and in control of every situation. I declare that fear has no room to dwell in, in because the word assures us that the Lord is always with us. In the name of Jesus, as the river nourishes and brings joy to a city, in Psalm 46 verse 4, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy habitation of the Most High. I pray that the presence of the Lord brings refreshing and gladness into your life. May you experience the richness of God's provision and the joy that comes from dwelling in His holy presence. I speak against every force of darkness or negativity that seeks to rob you of joy, peace or contentment. I declare that the peace of the presence the Father fills your life, driving away every fear, I pray for divine protection over your life and I stand on Psalm 91 verse 4. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart and declare that you are shielded from every form of harm or danger. I rebuke every strategy of the enemy aimed at causing distress in your life, declaring that the presence of the Lord brings peace and security. According to 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. As the word of God says and gives the assurance that the Lord watches over your coming and going, I pray that as you step into each day, your footsteps are guarded with precious blood of Jesus. I cover your endeavors, interactions, and your daily lives with the precious blood of Jesus. It is said in the word of the God in Numbers chapter 6 verses 24 to 26. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. I invoke the potency of the precious blood of Jesus as a shield of protection covering every aspect of your existence, spirit, soul, and body. I pray that blessings of the Lord overflow in your life and I release hosts of angels from the Lord over you to keep you safe from danger and adversity. Your steps are guarded and your path guided in alignment with the Father's divine will in Jesus' name. I decree that the face of the Lord shines upon you, showering you with his unending grace and favor. May the graciousness of the Lord permeate every area of your life, filling you with peace of God that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 138 verse 7, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand delivers me. I pray you are in compass with the Lord's impenetrable shoulder. May the Lord uphold you in his unyielding embrace, preserving your soul from the perils that seek to entangle and harm you. I deploy the Lord's divine authority against the forces that rise against you. In the power of the name of Jesus, I nullify every scheme of the adversary and toward every weapon formed to cause harm to you. I pray the Lord's righteous hand intervene, leading you to safety and deliverance from every perilous situation in Jesus' name. I pray that in the Lord's boundless love, you are vindicated and protected from any attack of the enemy. May it overshadow and shield you from all harm and malice in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the promise of the Lord in Psalm 32 verse 7 where it proclaimed the Lord is your hiding place, providing refuge and surrounding you with songs of deliverance. I speak therefore the protective hand of God to shield you from all forms of adversity. You are enveloped in the divine protection of the Father, guarding you against the schemes and attacks of the enemy that seek to harm you. In the midst of unseen conflicts, I declare the Lord and Him alone is your sanctuary, your secure haven in the storms of life. As you navigate the turbulent waters of life, I pray for the Lord's divine intervention. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that every snare and every plot is dismantled and every weapon formed against you is thwarted. May the melodies of the songs of deliverance surrounding you dispel every fear and doubt and may your heart be infused with the harmonies of victory, drowning out the discord of spiritual warfare. May the assurance of the Lord deliverance be your anthem in the face of every challenge. Thank you, Father, for you've answered us and we know that we are secure. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we pray. Amen. An altar typically serves as an elevated platform devoted to offering sacrifices and burning incense in worship. Conversely, an evil altar is a platform or a distinct location where dark agents such as priests or malevolent individuals offer sacrifices to entrap or subjugate the destinies of individuals. When targeted against an individual, this malevolent altar actively disrupts whatever blessings God has bestowed or is poised to bestow upon them. In a case of Gideon in Judges chapter 6 verses 25 to 26, God instructed him to dismantle the altar of Baal in his father's compound and replace it with a new and superior altar in God's name. It was subsequent to this act that God summoned him into service, utilizing him in extraordinary ways. Gideon's decision to dismantle the altars raised by his father and replace it with one dedicated to God ultimately positioned him in the purpose and plan that God had for his life. Join me as I pray against the evil altars against you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for your continuous protection and guidance over your children. And in the name of Jesus, we are grateful. Using Psalm 18 verse 2 that says, The Lord is your rock, your fortress and savior. God is your rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me and my place of safety. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your unending love and mercy upon your children and their household in the name of Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, we come before you using your word in Psalm 86, verse 15, that says, But you, O Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. I proclaim the destruction of every evil altar erected by the enemy to assail your life, declaring Psalm 141 verse 7, like rocks brought up by a plow, the bones of the wicked would lie scattered without burial. And in the name of Jesus, I say, may every schema to construct an evil altar against you be dispersed. And I decree the dismantling of every wicked altar aimed at hindering your peace and progress in the name of Jesus. Let each of these altars raised for monitoring purposes of your life be shattered into pieces. As the psalmist prayed in Psalm 64 verse 2, hide me from the plots of this evil mob, from this gang of wrongdoers. I pray that you are rendered invisible and untouchable through the enemy and his agents. I ignite every evil altar designed to harass your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Holy Ghost power strikes and destroys every evil force dispatched from an evil altar with the intent to harm you in the name of Jesus. I pray for the cessation of every tongue altering setback and stagnation from an evil altar into your life in the name of Jesus and I declare the annihilation of every arrow directed at you from an evil altar for Psalm 91 verse 5 says do not be afraid of the terrors of the night nor the arrow that flies in the day according to Isaiah 10 verse 27 in that day the Lord will end the bondage of his people he will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders I pray for the removal of every detrimental deposit orchestrated by the wicked enemy into your life and destiny in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the cessation of every evil altar's efficacy against you, rendering them powerless. I decree according to Psalm 21 verse 11 which says, Although they plot against you, their evil schemes will never succeed. The nullification of every plot and agenda devised by the enemy against your life is destroyed in the name of Jesus. I command today that every stubborn and unrepentant enemy of your life, destiny, career, academics, business, family, marriage, ministry shall be consumed by the Lord's consuming fire in the name of Jesus according to Isaiah 29 verse 6. I, the Lord of heaven armies, will act for you with thunder and earthquake and great noise with whirlwind and storm and consuming fire. The word of God in Psalms 91 verse 10 says, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. I declare, therefore, in the name of Jesus, the nullification of the words of sickness and death aimed at you and your household from every evil altar, every evil authority of the enemy and his agent is declared powerless against your life, family, destiny, and in the name of Jesus, I declare the subduing of every demonic power manifesting in your life, career, academics, business, family, marriage, and ministry. Drawing from James 4 verse 7, I pray that the Lord establishes His wall of fire and protection around you and your household, making you untouchable for every demonic force and every evil altar raised against you in the name of Jesus. Zechariah 2 verse 5, the NLT version says, Then I myself will be a protective wall of fire around Jerusalem, says the Lord, and I will be the glory inside the city. According to Psalm 57 verse 1, I look to you for protection. I will hide beneath the shadow of your wings until the danger passes by. I pray you and your house will find protection and safety under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty. I pray that there is confusion in the camp of the enemy who seek to raise an evil altar against you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you will not be a victim of an attack of the enemy. 
I declare that you are preserved from the fierce attacks of the enemy and his agents. I pray for the detachment of any malevolent altar connected to your foundation as I intercede for the destruction of demonic entities and raise evil altars that obstruct your success and breakthrough. In accordance to Psalmist prayer in Psalm 144 verse 7, reach down from heaven and rescue me. Rescue me from the deep waters, from the power of my enemies. I declare the neutralization of every demonic spell targeted towards you through the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And I dismantle every evil conspiracy held against you and your family on an evil altar. Psalm 37 verses 12 to 13 declare the wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance, but the Lord just laughs for he sees their day of judgment coming. I decree the destruction of every evil altar established to sponsor failure and setbacks across all aspects of your life. Aligning with Psalm 9 verse 6, the enemy is finished in endless ruins. The city you uprooted are now forgotten. I bind every wicked and evil power standing in the way of your prosperity. According to Psalm 91 verse 1, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray you find shelter under the shadow of the Almighty Father against the forces of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every evil altar that seeks to harm, oppress, or hinder your journey in God's purpose. I pray that the shadow of the Almighty presence extinguish the schemes of the enemy and renders powerless any wicked intent aimed at you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you are able to recognize to the subtle workings of evil altars and I pray wisdom for you to navigate through the spiritual battles that may arise from it in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 28 verse 12 says the Lord will open to you his good treasury the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the works of your hand I proclaim that the doors of blessings and favor shall swing wide open for you invoking the name of Jesus and I declare that the victorious spirit shall govern your life transforming you into one that is more than a conqueror in every aspect of your existence in the name of Jesus for according to Romans 8:37 you are more than a conqueror i declare and announce your triumph over every evil altar erected against your life in the powerful name of Jesus i pray amen the assurance Jesus gave us in John 14, 27 is a distinct gift from the Lord. As expressed, I leave you peace. I give you my peace. I don't give it to you as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. This divine peace is not merely the absence of turmoil, but a constant sense of tranquility and contentment stemming from unwavering trust in God's sovereignty and goodness. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 encourage believers to present their concerns to God in prayer, leading to an extraordinary peace that guards their thoughts and emotions in Christ Jesus. Ultimately, the peace of God is a bestowed one or a gift and a product of spiritual growth and connection with God, allowing one to surrender his or our worries, fears, and anxieties to God. This aligns with Jesus' words in John 16, 33. And I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The Lord desires you to experience this unique peace. So join me in this prayer to ensure your family embraces this divine tranquility. Let us pray. Just as the psalmist acknowledges the Lord's blessings of strength and peace in Psalm 29 verse 11, that says the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Father, in the name that is above every other name, I come with thanksgiving, knowing that as I earnestly for your abundant blessings upon everyone under the sound of my voice, the Lord they are blessed with an overwhelming sense of presence of peace 
to reign within their hearts and within the walls of their home. I pray that you would experience the richness of divine peace which will be tangible in your daily lives, influencing your thoughts, words and actions. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord would be upon you, providing you with peace which will give strength to face life challenges, courage and resilience in Jesus' name. In the midst of busy shadows and external pressures, I pray that you prioritize moments of stillness and reflection, allowing on the peace of the Almighty Father to permeate every corner of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your home be a sanctuary of peace, radiating the warmth of love of the Father to all who enter it. Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. I ask for the peace to descend upon you. And in the midst of any turmoil or uncertainty you may be facing, may the peace of the Lord envelope your hearts and minds. Let it be a soothing balm in moments of distress and a steadfast anchor in times of uncertainty in Jesus' name. I pray for you. May you have the assurance that the ultimate source of peace is found in Christ alone. May his calming presence be left within your heart, bringing harmony where there is discord, healing where there is brokenness, and restoration where there is division. The relationships within your family, I declare, they are marked by understanding, forgiveness, and compassion. Our pray love and unity is fostered in every environment of your relationships where each member of supports and encourages one another growing stronger together in faith and resilience. I declare victory over the spiritual battle that you may be facing. In the name of Jesus, I nullify every scheme, plan or assignment of the enemy aimed at disrupting your peace. I speak harmony and unity into your life. By the authority bestowed upon us through Jesus Christ, I bind and break every stronghold of darkness, releasing Jesus' perfect peace over you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 72 verse 7 proclaims, In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. Therefore I ask in the name of Jesus, the righteousness to flourish within your heart and peace to overflow in your life. I speak the ushering of peace and abundance into every facet of your life in the name of Jesus. May the atmosphere of your home be saturated with the peace that comes from walking in the righteous ways of the Lord. As I pray abounding peace for you, I also pray for the community around you. May peace radiate from your home, influencing those you encounter. May you be used as an instrument of peace for the Lord, spreading the fragrance of God's love to neighbors, friends, and beyond. I put your destiny in the competent custody of the Father. May you always be accompanied by peace as you move through the challenges of life. I declare you are protected from life storms in the name of Jesus, and you always find peace, whether in happy or sad times. The word of God in Psalm 4 verse 8 reminds us of the promise of the Father to grant peace and rest to those who trust in Him. And I pray for that same peace to descend upon you, embracing each member of your family with it. I pray for you to lie down in peace, knowing that the Lord makes every one dwell in safety. May you experience being surrounded with loving arms of the Father, shielding them from any harm of fear, granting them peace in the name of Jesus. And the words of Matthew 11:28, where the Lord offered, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I pray as you navigate the trials that weigh heavy on your heart, may you find comfort in the promise of the Lord of rest and peace. I pray for peace to descend upon you like a gentle dove, soothing troubled hearts and quieting restless spirits. As you navigate these uncertain waters, may your faith in God grow stronger. May you find comfort in the assurance that the Lord is walking beside you every step of the way, offering guidance, strength, and everlasting source of hope. I come against any spiritual forces of darkness that may seek to disturb the peace within you, and I rebuke 
any forms of discord, fear, and turmoil. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I declare that anywhere they are locking in the spiritual realm, hindering the manifestation of the peace of your life, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. Daniel 10, 19 says, And he said, O man greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. So I declare, as Daniel was encouraged not to fear but to be strong, I pray for strength for you. You're equipped with spiritual armor to withstand any attacks on their peace and unity. May you stand firm in faith, trusting in the Lord's protection and provision. I bind and cast out every spirit of strife, contention and confusion that attempts to infiltrate your relationships. And I proclaim peace as a force that shows and guards your hearts and minds over your lives, creating an impenetrable fortress against the schemes of the enemy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As I thank you also knowing that courage and strength is already there for them as they face spiritual opposition targeting their peace. We receive peace and tranquility for we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. The journey of the righteous eliminates increasingly growing brighter until perfection. Your continual progression reflects divine favor akin to a flourishing tree by a river. You thrive consistently irrespective of season, for a believer's life is devoid of backwardness. It moves selflessly forward. This trajectory of advancement resonates with the promise of Proverbs 4.18. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full light of day. And so embrace the constant betterment, drawing inspiration from the imagery of Psalm 1 verse 3 that that person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaves do not wither. Whatever they do prospers. In the believer's journey, progression is not merely an expectation, but a divine assurance, a testament to the unwavering light and prosperity that encompass and accompanies righteousness. And so, if you want such life to begin to happen to you, join me in this prayer. O Heavenly Father, in the name that is above every other name, I thank you for answering me all the time. As I lift everyone under the sound of my voice up, your cherished one before the throne of grace, declaring that from today, you and yours have freedom from the chains of backwardness. I declare that as you journey through the complexities of life, let the words of Proverbs chapter 4 verses 25 to 27 begin to resonate within your spirit. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. In the name of Jesus, I break the shackles that bind you to the past. I pray that our Heavenly Father grants you the strength to fix your gaze on the path ahead, lifting your eyes from the shadows of yesterday. May your steps be guided by the light of God's wisdom, its stride forwarding, affirming your commitment to the purpose that awaits. With the assurance of Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19, I declare over you, dear one, a divine shift. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. I stand on the precipice of a new beginning. And in this moment of prayer, let the old be cast aside for your life. I speak the freshness of God's promises. May it saturate your spirit. And I rebuke every lingering spirit of barkwardness that seeks to hinder your progress. I declare the breaking of chains 
the shattering of strongholds and the emergence of a path paved by the hand of God in the name of Jesus. That the peace that surpasses understanding God, your heart, as you release the burdens of the past with each prayerful step, I pray that you grow to trust in the promise that God is indeed making a way where there seems to be no way. I declare, beloved of the Lord, may you embrace the newness that springs forth for the Lord in his infinite wisdom is orchestrating a symphony of redemption and restoration in your life in the name of Jesus. And in the divine authority that is in Jesus Christ, I affirm your position as the head and not the tail, destined to ascend and not descend, according to Deuteronomy 28 verse 13, in the name of Jesus. I speak against any voice that whispers doubt, and I declare that you are a new creation in Christ, as 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 says, and the all has passed away. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit envelope you, empowering you to march boldly into the glorious future that God has prepared for you. Beloved child of God, I lift you up in the prayer against the spirit of backwardness that may seek to hinder your path. May the words of Isaiah 58 verse 8 resonating in our hearts clear. Then shall your light bring forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily righteousness shall go before you the glory of the Lord shall be your rare God I stand united with you in prayer against any force that attempts to turn your gaze away from the path the Lord has laid out for you in the radiant light of God's Word let there be a breakthrough a dawn that dispels the shadows of stagnation and backwardness in your life may God's healing power spring forth with swiftness touching every aspect of your life that needs restoration with the assurance of Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24. We find solace in the truth that the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. We trust, dear child, that every stumbling block on your journey is under the watchful gaze of our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus. He holds you securely, ensuring that no backward force will cause you to fall. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stand with you declaring that in Christ you are a new creation. I cast away the weight of the past and embrace the promise of a future crafted by God's divine hands. Let the plans he has for you, plans of welfare and not of evil unfold each day, taken in faith in the name of Jesus. I pray against the spirit of backwardness. Let your light break forth, dispelling the darkness that may cloud the vision of purpose and dis destiny in the name of Jesus. May the righteousness imputed by Christ go before you, paving the way for a journey marked by integrity and divine favor in the name of Jesus. And in the authority of God's word, I rebuke any force seeking to reverse the progress, growth, or blessings God has ordained for you. I break every chain that binds you to the past, declaring freedom for you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord guide your steps with divine precision. May he illuminate the path ahead, making clear the way that leads to abundance and fulfillment. God's promises are a lamp unto your feet. Let them be a radiant beacon, dispelling any confusion or uncertainty. In moments of weakness or weariness, may the assurance of God's hand holding you uplift your spirit in the name of Jesus and in the face of challenges. Let the glory of the Lord be your rare God, protecting you from any attempt to drag you backward. I declare victory over the spirit of backwardness for you. In the name of Jesus, there is only forward momentum God's plan for your good and we trust in his unfailing love. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, believing that his light will shine brightly, guiding you toward the destiny he has ordained for you. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel and God bless you as you do so.